Welcome in to the Sarah Automotive High School Game of the Week. I'm Jim Adele Abrams along with Zachary Thomas Abrams. We are at Legion Stadium in Sylacauga for the opener of the high school football season. As B.B. Calmer, the uh, runner-up in Class 2A uh, last year, they lost to five, but they got a lot of starters back tonight, uh, this year. And they play, of course, Dable. And Zach, uh, Dable is a team that beat B.B. Calmer last year in the opening game. Yes, I did, but uh, I'm sure B.B. Calmer is looking to get revenge on them. Yeah, it should be. And it should be a pretty interesting game. B.B. Uh, Calmer with a lot of uh, players back. They've got 12 seniors on this team. But when you look at that big running back they got, uh, he's a good one, isn't he? Kamori Harris is the one they're definitely most excited about having back. He is. And B.B. Uh, Calmer with uh, tremendous opportunity this season to – uh, make it a long way, and uh, this is uh, what is called zero week, and uh, it is a uh, game that does not uh, count in the region standings, but you want to get off on the right foot. B.B. Uh, Comer played Jamboree last week over up in Cordova and lose that one 14-13, to 13. but what they were trying to do was just play a lot of players, and that's what they did. Didn't get anybody hurt in that uh, jamboree. And uh, tonight uh, they take on uh, Dadeville, but B.B. Uh, Calmer has got some players on this uh, football team that can really make a difference. And, and you look at offensively, uh, when you uh, take a look at their offense, uh, Zach, some of these guys that they've got, uh, you talk about uh, Sims, you talk about Harris, you talk about Harvey. Uh, you know, Harvey didn't play quarterback a whole lot last year, but he's going to get to play a lot this year. So, B.B. Uh, Comer's got some experience uh, coming back this season, and uh, we're happy to bring you high school football here on WOIL TV 47. And, and Zach, you saw B.B. Comer a good bit last year, and you know – how good this offense can be. Their offensive line, they lost a couple of guys off of it last year. Yes, they did, but um, they look like real contenders this year again. All right, we've got B.B. Uh, Calmer and Dave will coming up, the Sarah Automotive High School Game of the Week. And let me mention our sponsors right quick, uh, State Representative District 33, Ben Robbins, Donahue Physical Therapy, Heritage South Federal Credit Union, Marble City Pharmacy, Community Funeral Home, Coosa Valley uh, Medical Center, Tallahassee County Revenue Commissioner Cindy Pennington, Amya, State Farm uh, Agent Albia Steers. Also, our pregame brought to you by Rick Morris. And uh, Rick's one of our close friends, and he's happy to be a partner with us with high school football. Of course, the pregame show brought to you by Rick Morris. Also, the B.B. Comer Alumni Association, uh, Bandits on uh, West Fort Williams, and our first down tonight by Erlene's Flowers, uh, in uh, Sylacauga out on Highway 21. And uh, uh, also uh, high school football tonight, our national anthem brought to you by Sylacauga Glass. Well, uh, Coach Adam Fawcett uh, talked about this B.B. Comer Tiger team and uh, about tonight's contest and what he expects from this 2023 Tiger football team. Let's catch up with Coach Adam Fawcett. Our coach's corner with Coach Adam Fawcett, presented by B.B. Comer Alumni Association. And, Coach, good morning. I know the, I talked with Randy Kane yesterday. He's going to be on tomorrow morning. And they've got a big pep rally tomorrow and, and uh, Tiger Walk and all that kind yeah. of stuff planned. So, exciting time for the B.B. Comer Tiger faithful. Yeah, it is. It's, uh, it's time to, to kick it off again, time to get going again. And it uh, seems like we just left it. So. <laughs> Uh, looking forward to, to getting started, looking forward to seeing where this year's team uh, goes and, and, and how we progress in the season and, and improve, hopefully, uh, as we move along. Uh, some people might ask, are you concerned about a letdown? You, you made the finals last year. Are you concerned about a letdown from this team at, a, at some point? Uh, I don't know if letdown is is the terms, but um, I'm concerned about the identity of the team. You know, what what is our identity? Uh, what is this senior group's identity going to be? And and where does this senior group take us? Mm -hmm. So um, you're talking about a group of guys that have been under us for uh, six years now and uh, came up through the junior high the junior high JV levels with us, and um, you know they're. They're truly veterans of the program, mm -hmm. so 
uh, where where they take us and 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 the identity that we gain over the next excuse me over the next couple of weeks is going to be important to where we end up late in the season. You played a jamboree game last week uh, mm -hmm. and traveled up to Cordova. What did you learn from your club uh, after that game? Uh, you know, saw some bright spots, saw some things that we really liked, uh, saw some room for improvement. Um, we, we've got to get better on the interior uh, offensive defensive lines. Uh, we've got to do a better job there. Uh, we've got to find some depth there. We've got to find some guys, that, some young guys that want to step up and get some meaningful snaps uh, because we're going to have to have some guys get some breaks uh, along the way. So, um, you know, there's, there's some question marks there. There's some guys that, um, that we're looking at to, to move around and, and possibly mm -hmm. make a few changes there. Uh, and then the young guys, you know, we, we've got to have some guys. Uh, Christian Jemison's a young kid that's, that's starting for us and playing a ton for us and uh, played well. Um, late in the game, uh, he gives up a touchdown, but uh, he's in good coverage, uh, mistimes it. Uh, looks like there's a little bit of a push off there. And, um, you know, so you got to build that kid back up mm -hmm. and, and get him ready for this week. So. Uh, he didn't do anything wrong. He was doing doing a good job, you know, doing his job, uh, but gives up a big play. So kids like that, you got to build them up. They're young. Yeah. They're they're still learning. But uh, you know, there's there's other kids that that you've got to depend on. Angel Ruiz and Judson Murray are two guys. Uh, they're seniors that um, they took a year or two off and and then have come back and played. Uh, but they've they've shown great improvement and they've they've been able to play for us. So they're going to help us out on that D line uh, some and uh, give our guys some breaks so we can rotate some guys in and out. Talk a little bit about this senior group. We've got a pretty good number mm -hmm. of seniors this year. Yeah, 12 seniors, uh, large group. Uh, you know, you're talking about a group that st has stayed together. <laughs> yeah. So uh, most of those guys have been through all all four years of high school, uh, been through the JV program with us and. Uh, and that's important to, to go through the program together. And, um, you know, they're the, they're the largest group that we have as far as cl by class uh, until you get down to our seventh grade group now. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, it's interesting to see the, the larger groups as they stay together and develop, they, they tend to be more successful. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you look at that young seventh grade group now, if they'll stay together and stay the course, that's that's that next special group to come through and there's about man I think there's 16 or 18 of them so um, but yeah the, the current senior group um, a lot of different personalities in that group a lot of, a lot of different characters in that group and uh, they've they barely remember the 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 darker days I guess yeah so uh, they remember the the better days they remember obviously last year and the year before and um, so, so they remember the, the successes more so than the failures and uh, sometimes you have to remind them that uh, you know this didn't just happen, this wasn't an overnight thing and that uh, success doesn't come easy, uh, that you have to work for it and um, you, you kind of have to remind them of that sometimes. And Four or five of these seniors, uh, you know, they won't be able to play at another level mm -hmm. a little bit later on too. Yeah, definitely. We, we've got quite a few that can play at the next level. Uh, obviously, um, Kamor Harris is, is verbally committed to Memphis. Uh, Chris Wilson and Devin Harvey have a, uh, some options and, and are garnering a lot of interest. Um, you know, some wait, waiting on somebody to to extend an offer to them. Somebody's going to get a steal on those two guys mm -hmm. uh, when they do extend an offer to them. Um, and, and we have a few other guys that can play some small, small college football, uh, depending on their interest level. Uh, you know, you're looking for uh, in those interior guys, like Alex Cunningham. Uh, if he has a good year, he could probably garner some interest from some, some small schools. Uh, and then we've got a couple of juniors as well, um, Raylan Sims and, and Richard Weed too, that uh, really good athletes that, that go go good with that senior group as far as talent and, and next level talent. You lost some key interior linemen mm -hmm. off last year's team that were excellent football players. Yeah, you, you, Zach, Zach and Brandon were, uh, you know, they they were some of the better linemen that I've been able 
a coach and, and uh, seeing them go through, I, I remember them as eighth graders being, you know, out there lost and trying to figure out, find, find their way, you know, and as seniors, they're team leaders, uh, really, really good on both sides of the ball. Um, really, you know, part of our success uh, last season. So uh, filling those spots is going to be tough. Mm -hmm. And um, right now, Ian Denny and, and Seth Barnett are uh, playing guard and tackle for us. And uh, we've got a couple guys that we've been trying to rotate in and out. And we're, we're trying to find the best fit right there. And uh, we've got to uh, find it quick. Yeah. Yeah, speaking of quick, tomorrow night yeah. against the Dable Tigers here at Legion Stadium, a team that didn't treat you too well right. last year. Yeah, Dable, man, Dable is Dable. Like, it, you know, I've been asked a lot about, you know, what, what are you going to get, what are you going to see? Uh, you're going to see a physical team, you're going to see a well-coached team, uh, you're going to see two tights, you're going to see power eye, you're going to see some eye, and they're going to run right at you. So. Um, they, they may try and slip a tight end out every once in a while on a flood or a waggle or something like that. But other than that, they're going to run the ball. And uh, we, we've got to match them physically up front uh, to have a chance. Um, and we've got to maintain the ball. We've got to make sure that we handle our business offensively and move the ball and put points on the board. Dade will uh, predominantly solid football team for years and you talked about them like to run the football and it's up to your defense to, to stop mm -hmm. them. Yeah, defensively we gotta get stops. We gotta uh, maintain our gaps. We gotta make sure that we're not getting uh, our, you know, the double teams. We, we gotta make sure we maintain double teams and, and kind of uh, blow that up and, and free up our linebackers to make plays and uh, our linebackers can't get covered up. They've gotta be able to move and make plays and fill gaps. The heat has been brutal the last two months. How has it or has it affected uh, your team and your preparation for the season? Uh, I'll tell you, it's been, it, it has been brutal. Um, we, we really push hydrating. We really push the, the getting the, the electrolytes in you. And um, after practices, uh, most of our older guys, it's mandatory that they ice. So we, um, it's kind of a, it's kind of a unique situation, but we have large trash cans set up in front of the, the field house full of ice and water, and they hop in there in five, six minutes, and they hop out, and the next guy hops in. Uh, but we do get them ice. We, we cool that body temperature and get, them, get ice on their uh, lower extremities just to, to loosen them up a little bit uh, and, and help them out. But uh, we have a, a large refrigerator in the field house full of waters, and they get waters every day. Uh, we've got guys that are carrying gallon, gallon jugs of water around, so uh, get, getting plenty of fluids. Um, you know, uh, we're fortunate, uh, I, guess, I guess fortunate is the word, but uh, we practice on the, in the outfield of the baseball field. Mm -hmm. And uh, at about four o'clock, we have pretty much full shade uh, on our practice area. So um, that does help us a little bit uh, just with the temperatures. Uh, we practiced at the stadium yesterday just to, to be on the turf and feel feel the turf and um, there is a little bit added heat with, yeah. with, with the turf um, so you, you kind of feel that a little bit but uh, I think once you know once the, it's going to be hot obviously but once the sun's not beating directly down on you uh, Friday night and the lights come on uh, and it's game time I, I think the emotions and the energy kind of overcome and uh, you go out and play ball. The Alabama High School Athletic Association has given uh, some leeway to the officials uh, if they need more heat timeouts, they can have them. Yeah, we, I've talked to our officials association and uh, they've talked about extra heat timeouts, uh, doubling the time of timeouts. So if I call a timeout, they'll give us twice as much time right. as normal and uh, just, just keeping them, uh, you know, kind of keeping them hydrated, giving them breaks, getting those helmets off and letting them, letting them breathe a little bit. Uh, we utilize ice towels, so we'll get ice towels and then put on their necks during those breaks and, and try and cool them off. And uh, The big thing is, and it's hard to explain to, to teenagers, is the last thing you want to do is soak yourself with, with water because it gets in your pads it gets, and it ends up just weighing you down. Mm -hmm. And then that water also just gets hot, you know, it gets hot because your body temperature is hot. So uh, you, you have to, have to kind of educate them and, and teach them. Uh, a lot of our guys want to go shirtless at practice. I'm like, you're, you're not, you're not able to soak up any of your sweat to cool you off. 
uh, myself and pretty much most of my coaching staff, we wear long sleeves to practice all the time. And they tell us how crazy we are. Well, I, I'm a lot cooler in long sleeves than I am in short sleeves because I'm able to hold that sweat in and, and keep my body cool. So, uh, but just trying to educate them and keep them healthy and, and keep them safe um, is key. And uh, you know, we will we will do that on Friday as well. If I if I feel if the officials aren't going to warrant a, a heat timeout and I feel like we need one, I'll, I'll utilize a timeout just to give us a break if I have to. Yeah. Not only the head football coach, but the athletic director at B.B. Comer. Uh, you know, there's a lot of fall sports going on, too. Yeah, vo volleyball is kicking off and, and getting ready. They start next week. Um, they've worked hard all summer and uh, lost. They lost a lot of a lot of seniors, so they've got a, a new look team. They've got a young team coming up, and uh, put in a lot of time this summer to work hard. And uh, our cheer program is is up up and, up and running strong. And uh, our varsity cheer group is probably one of the bigger groups uh, that we've had. I think we have 18 varsity cheerleaders this year, so uh, it should be loud on the sidelines for us yeah. and, uh, and and going and. Uh, I know uh, Dan Seaborn that, that handles all our band program stuff, and uh, he, I want to say he told me he has 70 plus kids. So you, you look at you look at a 2A school, and uh, I've got 60, roughly 60 total kids. He's got 70 plus kids. We got 20 cheerleaders. We got we've got probably I would say 85 percent of our school is in, involved in something extracurricular and, and that's important yeah. to, to us it's important um, that we that the kids are involved in doing other things so uh, a lot of respect for the for the extra time that those people put in uh, mr seaborn he's there some days he's there over the summer when we're there for summer workouts getting ready for their camp and and uh, getting them ready to go so um, he, he's a veteran at this and done it for a long time but uh, does a good job and, and they, they make a lot of noise for us on Fridays. No doubt about it. Head football coach and athletic director of BB Comer, Adam Fawcett, the Tigers take on Dave tomorrow night. It's a zero week game. Mm -hmm. Explain exactly what zero week means. Yeah. Uh, zero week is just a non region week and you, you can you can kinda you have eleven weeks to set up ten weeks of, of games and you don't have to play ten games. Um, as long as you play your, your region games, you could literally just play region games if you wanted to. Um, I, I like playing <clears throat> non-region games. Uh, I like playing a week zero game. Uh, you know, as far as standings and, and region titles and, and playoff standings and stuff like that, this game has no meaning. Mm -hmm. um, so you, this is a game to really get the kinks out. And uh, you, you think, well, a jamboree is what that's for. Well, a jamboree is to, to get the rust off. And a uh, week zero game is to get the kinks out and, and, and to see it live. So. Um, you know, jamboree was offensively, we varsity guys ran 15 plays. Well, we'll run 15 plays in the first quarter tomorrow night. So um, longevity of, of where we are and how we are, uh, live special teams. So we, we've got, this is a good one to, yeah, I, I don't want to roll out and, and play a region game right off the bat without having played a full mm -hmm. game. So. Uh, we got this game, and then we go to Chillsburg before we open up region play against Woodland at home. Special teams. Uh, you got some good special team play last week. Yeah, uh, man. Uh, Noah shocked me a little bit, you know, and, <laughs> and that was, uh, I just, I, I honestly wanted to test his range. You know, we, um, you look at the whole game aspect of it, um, based on the game, and, and how we were moving the ball on fourth down, I probably would have gone for it. Like we, to be honest with you, we, we probably would have lined right, right back up and ran, ran the same play. And I had a little uh, eighth grader in there running at, at the time, Dalen Borden, and he, he took off. Uh, but I really wanted to see, see Noah's range and, and see where he was. And uh, he, um, he hits a 41-yarder with, uh, with a significant amount of, of space to, to go. So. I bet that uh, fired everybody up. Yeah, it did. <laughs> it, it, it was pretty neat to see. And, um, you know, can we do it against a rush? Can we do it live? Can we do it? You know, we may find out. You know, it's, it's, a, it's always good to have an added yeah. weapon. So, um, and I told, it's funny because headsets, 
I, I told the coaches, I said, we get in a fourth down situation, I'm gonna let Noah kick one. Well, I didn't say a word to any of those guys. And none of the, none of the varsity guys had played, you know, it was all the younger guys playing, but they already knew if we did special teams that they were going in because young guys weren't gonna do special teams. So I didn't tell Noah anything. I didn't, I didn't want him to think about it. I didn't want him to worry about it. So we got a fourth down, I just called field goal and they took off out there like, like, and that was the impressive part to me is they all ran out there, we got set and, and got it off. So, and those guys hadn't, you know, they hadn't played at all for a quarter because I, I had taken them out of the game. So they, they were focused and, and paying know, attention. Noah Wimmer is one of those guys who, who plays uh, for you as well, mm -hmm. other other than than uh, your special team mm -hmm. guy, but he's going to camps and stuff like mm -hmm. that, and he's worked hard in his craft. He has. He, he's gotten better. He's worked hard. He's uh, Noah's a character. Mm -hmm. Like like Noah, Noah and I have a have a love hate relationship some days, and um, some days he drives me crazy. But uh, he cares. He wants to be there. He he wants to be involved. He wants to help. He wants to. Uh, be part of it and um, you know pe people like during the season you know we may not line up for another 41 yard field goal just based on how things are going but there's a lot of factors into it too because if he's been playing defense all night too he, he's not going to be as fresh as he was sure. there so uh, so you gotta you gotta play all that in your head when, when you're making those decisions and uh, man as, as head coaches there's decisions I wish that we could get back a lot of times, but uh, at the end of the day, you've got very little time to make those decisions. So, uh, but Noah does, um, I, I'm, I'm proud of the way he's grown and matured and uh, Noah as a freshman and Noah as a senior are two different kids. So. All right, tickets for tomorrow night's game. All right, so uh, tickets will be on GoFan for $8 and uh, whatever their fee is. And then you can buy tickets at the gate, at the front gate only, um, and there'll be 10 at the gate. Okay. So um, try, trying to figure all this out has, has been interesting. And as a county system, we're trying to stay consistent. Um, I've seen where some schools are charging 10 on GoFan and 15 at the gate. Um, I, we're, I don't think we're at that point. It's a little pricey, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think that's a little, a little much. Um, but yeah, we're trying to be consistent with that. Um, we do have uh, season parking passes that we're selling uh, in that north north end zone parking lot mm -hmm. close to the scoreboard. They're fifty dollars uh, for the season. That would include any postseason games, and you have a reserved parking space. Um, <coughs> they'll be selling. They sold them yesterday. And they'll sell them again today. Uh, today they'll sell them in the front of the school. From I think it's from five to six. They'll, they'll somebody will be set up there uh, to sell those. Uh, if you buy one of those parking passes, you would have to walk around to the front to use cash, or you can go right in the gate, right next to the scoreboard there, mm -hmm. if you have a GoFan ticket. All right. Kick off 7 o'clock tomorrow night. B.B. Comer hosting Dayville in zero week. Coach Adam Fawcett, head football coach uh, the B.B. Comer Tigers. Coach, we'll see you next week. Good yes, luck. Yes, sir. Thank you. More day break right after this. Coach Adam Fawcett, the head football coach of the B.B. Comer Tigers earlier this morning on Coach's Corner. We're just moments away from the kickoff of B.B. Comer and Dadeville. You know, B.B. Comer lost uh, two games last year, and one of the teams that beat them was Dadeville. They lost the first game, and they lost the last game. They had an outstanding season and looking forward to another big season with 12 returning starters back. And, uh, Zach, you got the offense and defense for the B.B. Comer Tigers. Yes, so the starters for Comer's offense on the line, it's Chris Wilson on the line. Chris Wilson, Caden Brown, Alex Cunningham, Seth Barnett, and Ian Denty. Uh, corners are Diarian Riley and Raylan Sims. Um, oh, no, sorry, wide receivers were them. Uh, quarterback, Devin Harvey. Running back, Kamori Harris. And fullback, Datreon Wells. And for the defense on the line, it's Chris Wilson, Angel Ruiz, Alex Cunningham, Datreon Wells on the line. Corners, Christian Jemison and Michael Kirksey. Uh, also on defense, Kamori Harris, Noah Wimmer, free safety, Richard Weed. 
Devin Harvey, and Raylan Sims. Of course, uh, Dadeville comes in, and uh, they are a run football team. They like to run the football. B.B. Comer's defense is going to have to stand up, and uh, it'll be Wilson, Ruiz, Cunningham, and Wells along that front four for B.B. Comer, and you've got your linebackers, including uh, Kamori Harris and Noah Wimmer play some linebackers as well. So uh, these uh, uh, Dadeville Tigers are coming, are coming in tonight. They're going to try to run the football, so it's up to B.B. Comer to try to uh, stop them. Uh, in running the football. We'll see how that develops. We're just a few moments away from the kickoff here at Legion Stadium, Sarah Automotive High School Game of the Week. I'll tell you what, let's slip a break in, Zach, and we'll come back with the opening kickoff. B.B. Comer and Dadeville right after this. High School Football here on TV 47, WOIL Television, brought to you by Sarah Automotive on Highway 280 in Sylacauga and presented by State Representative District 33, Ben Robbins. Donna Who Physical Therapy on West Fort Williams, and Talladega County Commissioner Cindy Pennington. Hope you're enjoying high school football here on TV 47, WOIL Television. Uh, for the Tigers tonight. The and, captains uh, are got the captains for the Tigers. Um, Kamori, Harris, Kamori Harris, Richard Weed, and also Raylan Sims. Those three guys played a lot last year. Kamori Harris already committed to play for Memphis Tigers, and uh, he has uh, committed to them. But he could change, and he probably is going to get a whole lot more looks as. And we go through the season, and Zach, you just look at him. Uh, he plays offense and defense, and he'll hit you just as well as he'll run the football 80 yards. Yes, he will. Kamori Harris is definitely a force to be reckoned with. Also the captains for the Dadeville Tigers. Dadeville uh, with a couple of young men out there. Captains for Dadeville are Kai Moss and also, William Johns. Dadeville coming off a, a uh, horrible uh, mass shooting in Dadeville back uh, earlier this year. And uh, a number of people died in that, a number of uh, people that a lot of Dadeville people know. And uh, that uh, riveted uh, throughout the nation. Uh, when that mass shooting took place. And uh, you think that doesn't happen? Well, it did. And a lot of uh, people were affected by that. Dave has dedicated this season to the ones who lost their lives in that uh, shooting back several months ago. B.B. Comer won the toss. They declined to the second half. And B.B. Comer will be defending, and they'll kick off as we get set to go for the opening game of the 2023 season. B.B. Comer and Dadeville, we appreciate all of our sponsors, including Sarah Automotive, State Representative District 33, Ben Robbins, Donahue Physical Therapy, Heritage South Federal Credit Union, Marble City Pharmacy, Community Funeral Home, Coosa Valley Medical Center, Talladega County Revenue Commissioner, Cindy Pennington, Omnia, State Farm Agent, Alby Steers, of course, our national anthem always uh, performed uh, by the B.B. Comer Tiger Marching Band, sponsored by Silicaga Glass. Rick Marsh presents our pregame show. Also helping us out tonight is the B.B. Comer Alumni Association and Bandits. The first down is with Erlene's Flowers. Here come the Tigers out onto the field. The B.B. Comer will kick off to start the 2023 season. Of course, B.B. Comer played uh, last week in a uh, jamboree game at Cordova. And the last time they played Cordova was back in a state championship game in the 90s and uh, lost that game. But that turned the tide as far as state playoffs were concerned. It went to, uh, uh, it wasn't the host school that hosted the game. It was a, a more regional site 
and like uh, Auburn and Tuscaloosa. But Coach Bobby Overton was very instrumental in getting that changed. The field house, the B.B. Comer Alumni Association had a big event at the field house, uh, Bobby Overton field house this afternoon. And uh, they had a tiger walk. So they're excited about this 2023 season. B.B. Comer kicking off. The Tigers with Noah Wimmer kicking off. Wimmer has gone to a lot of uh, kicking camps and has really helped himself. And I remember when he started a few years ago, he was young and green, but he's a seasoned veteran now. And Wimmer to kick off for B.B. Comer at Legion Stadium is a hot night on the turf here in Sylacauga, Alabama. A little kick down at about the 23-yard line and uh, taken across the 30 to the 34-yard line. Dave will have it first and 10. from their own 34. We're just underway. Courteous and Son Funeral Home. Funeral Home, one of our great sponsors of high school football. B.B. Comer on defense. Coach Adam Fawcett has built this program at B.B. Comer for the last five years and done a fantastic job. The Tigers coming off a runner-up spot last year in the state playoffs in 2A. We told you that Dave would like to run the football, and there they go off right in to about the 38-yard line. Good tackle there by uh, number three, and that is the quarterback, the David Harvey. Dave with the initial possession in the football game. Third down at about five from the 39-yard line. B.B. Comer would like to get a stop here and get the football back. You know, you've got this artificial turf and uh, temperature at game time. We'll check that for you in just a minute, but it's very, very hot. Quarterback keeps. And B.B. Comer got him wrapped up and Good knocked him down tackle. at the line of scrimmage. That's Kamori Harris. Kamori Harris just came in there and popped him. Good start off for the Tigers. So B.B. Comer forces Dable to punt. And the Tigers should get pretty, pretty good field position. Chris Wilson helping out on that tackle as well. So it's fourth down. B.B. <laughs> Comer will have the football at about the 43-yard line. So let's see. Uh, With Devin Harvey, he'll run the offense for B.B. Comer. He played some last year. And 
he's under center here tonight for the first down and 10. Working out of the spread a little bit. From the 42. He keeps it himself, and he is spun down. Now breaks away back to the 35. Stiff arm. Runs across the 40 to the 43, and really uh, – that was a great run. Sims on that carry. Great run from him, and that was a good job to push him out of bounds by Roger Green. But yeah, really a great way. Him, they did something with Sims like that last year, too. Great job to get that stiff arm and get away from the sack coverage. Fortunately, got back to the line of scrimmage, second down at 10. Sims will take the snap. He gives to Harris, and Harris uh, breaks a couple of tackles, and he's across the 43 to the 44-yard line. Just swarmed there by a bunch of people, Dable. 9-12 to go in the first quarter, just underway. Third down possession for B.B. Comer. They mark it at the 49. Feels like 101 degrees now with the, uh, there's Harris slipping a few tackles. He's inside the 40 to the 37 yard line. Kamori Harris, his helmet comes off and he'll have to come out of the game for a play. But that's that's vintage Kamori Harris right there. Great run by him and a pretty good tackle there by Brandez Eason. So that is a uh, Erlene's Flowers first down for the BB Comer Tigers at the 38 yard line. And, you know, you got to give respect to anybody who has the guts to go up against Kamori Harris and go to tackle him. Here you come, we're trying to get back to the playoffs. Of course, this is not a region game tonight. They flip it out in the flat and a great open field tackle. That's uh, Brandez Eason. Yeah. Back to back tackles for him. That didn't fool anybody there. Appreciate all of you joining us for high school football tonight on WOIL TV 47. First quarter action brought to you by Curtis and Son Funeral Home. Second down and about uh, 11. Sims takes a snap. That's a running room. He's inside the 20, 15 foot raised inside the 10, five. Near touchdown. the goal line, and let's see if he got in. Yeah, touchdown. That's a great, great run. And, uh, you know, this young man has played some good football for B.B. Comer. And uh, when you look at a, uh, a sprinter like he did, he broke one tackle and then just got in the end zone for a touchdown. Cameron Gaddis with a great run. Yeah, Gaddis played a little bit last year. He did. And you can tell he's going to be playing more this year. So B.B. Comer on the board early, leading 6 to nothing with Wimmer for the point after. Line drive kick is up and through. As B.B. Comer with a 7 to nothing lead will come back to Legion Stadium with more right after this. The all-new Marble City Pharmacy in Sylacauga is your destination for the highest quality health care. Our remodeled and expanded pharmacy gives us the space to serve more patients. We've added a drive through window for those times when you don't feel like getting out of your vehicle. And we still offer delivery within city limits. We feature a full line of over-the-counter medications and supplements. And don't forget our stunning new gift department. New building, same great people. Marble City Pharmacy, here for life. Back to Legion Stadium, B.B. Comer with a 7-0 lead. And uh, a young man, Zach, that uh, we're probably going to be calling his name a lot this year with that long touchdown run. Yes, that was a great run by Gaddis. Most uh, players in this tend to get first game jitters, but seemed like he was all ready to go. <laughs> yeah. B.B. Comer with a 7-0 lead. Uh, they're taking some extra time because of the excessive heat. And uh, after a, a touchdown, they'll take a, a little bit more time to get the players back out there. Uh, 
is 89 degrees right now, but uh, feels like 101. But on that playing surface, you guys had a scrimmage game on that the other night. It's very hot on that field, yes. even after the sun sets. Yes, it, it was. And we almost forgot the water coolers, too. Yeah. So that would have been terrible. B.B. Comer leads uh, Dadeville by a score of 7-0, 722 to go in the first quarter. And uh, high school football is brought to you in part by State Representative District 33, Ben Robin. We appreciate Ben and uh, his commitment to District 33, Coosa and Talladega counties. And he's uh, one of those guys that has hit the ground running when he was elected, and he's doing some wonderful things uh, in District 33. State Representative District 33, Ben Robbins. Donahue Physical Therapy, your doctor orders physical therapy for you. Your next move is say, hey, I want to use Donahue Physical Therapy on West Fort Williams here in Sylacauga. Ben and his staff do a fantastic job, and uh, we appreciate them partnering with us with high school football uh, this season as well. Here at the South Federal Credit Union, uh, what can you say? They're, they uh, uh, do a wonderful job, and uh, a lot of people bank with Here at the South Federal Credit Union, two locations here in Sylacauga on uh, Broadway and uh, out on James Payton Boulevard is uh, here to South Federal Credit Union. Wimmer prepares to kick off a BB call for the Tigers lead at 7 nothing. He drills that one deep and it's going to roll into the end zone. And if you're a coach, that's what you want your kicker to do, kick it in the end zone. Yes, that was a very good kick by the kicker, Noah Wimmer. So Dadeville uh, has given up an opening Drive touchdown to B.B. Comer. B.B. Comer's got some good defensive players as well. And one of those is Chris Wilson, number 51. Now, he continues to grow. You see him on this right side right here. Watch him. He's getting a lot of – now he's shifting uh, to the other side. But he's getting a lot of uh, uh, looks from universities as well, colleges. Nothing happening. Good defensive was, uh, play, and the Wimmer is the first to get there, and Wilson helping him out. Yes. So second down and long. Loss of two. Second and 12. Heard under center. Heard rolling. Wilson's got him in the backfield for a loss back at Great the 16 yard line. Great sack by Wilson. Just got there so quickly. We saw Wilson last year, and he just continued to get better as the year went along. He, he's got a long uh, wingspan. And uh, he puts a lot of pressure uh, trying to get to the quarterback, and he puts a lot of pressure on the offensive line to keep him out of the backfield. Yes, definitely. It's very hard to contain a force like that. Third down and uh, 13, make it third and 12. Heard. Again, they hand it off, and Wilson's got him again at the 18-yard line. Fourth oh, down. my goodness, what a tackle. That is Wilson and number four, Christian Jemison, corner. So three and out for Dadeville. B.B. Culver will get the football again. So, Zach, so far so good for offense and defense for the Tigers. Yes, it has gone very well for them. They're playing lockdown defense, and they're scoring touchdowns on offense. Good punt, the 50. 50-yard line, 45 taken down at the 44-yard line. Good tackle by Ty Moon to stop him before he got much yardage. You know, Weed, uh, if he gets a step, he'd grow a long way. Definitely. He's like a water bug, you know. So first down for B.B. Calmer at the Dadeville 44-yard line. It was all run for the Tigers that first drive. 
Kamori Harris back in the game. They go inside to the big man. He spins and still moving. He's got great balance. Uh, and uh, you can you can just see why these colleges are licking their lips uh, to to uh, get him to uh, look at their schools. And uh, Amore Harris, uh, just a great all-around athlete. He runs for another first down. Brought to you by Erlene's Flowers. First pass of the night. Pulling Come it down and running bodies. it. And uh, hit and pull down at the 26-yard line. It's 26 and 22, Ty Moon and Corday Jefferson with the tackle. She picked up uh, about two yards, maybe three. Four minutes to go in the first quarter. A.B. Comer leading seven to nothing. Go back to Harris, and Harris is hit and knocked down. Helmet comes off again. Yeah. He is just smothered by Dadeville. That's twice has happened tonight, and again, Harris will have to come out for a play. That's definitely got to be frustrating. They have a penalty on this one, right? Now, personal foul face mask. That may be why his helmet came off. Yes. <laughs> so that's a major distance penalty against Dadeville. It'll put B.B. Comer deeper into Tiger territory. Appreciate all of you watching high school football here on TV 47, WOIL television. Personal foul. First down for Comer. So the Tigers have it inside the 15-yard line, knocking on the door again, leading seven to nothing. And we've got the heat timeout, it looks like now, 3.51 to go as we'll take a timeout back to Legion Stadium right after this. Shop with confidence at King's Mattress Gallery. Newly stocked signature sectionals and recliners for any size room. Mega motion and signature lift chairs. Sealy hybrid duo chill mattresses for a cool night's sleep. Temper ergo smart bases that respond to snoring automatically. Visit King's Mattress Gallery today. Family owned and operated since 1994. Proudly serving in Silicaga and surrounding areas. Back to Legion Stadium here in Sylacauga. Jim and Dale along with Zach, and we've got uh, first quarter action. B.B. Comer leading Dadeville by a score of seven to nothing. We're late in the first quarter. B.B. Comer again deep in uh, Dadeville territory. Remember, Komori Harris had to check out of the game uh, with his helmet coming off, and that's a rule that the Alabama High School, High School Athletic Association has in place. And that's to protect the players. And this heat has been so oppressive. Uh, and I talked with Coach Fawcett about this uh, earlier today. And he said, you know, he said, we kind of, if you could get used to it a little bit, we got kind of used to it. He said, it wasn't that bad because we stay have the kids hydrated and stuff like that. So uh, may not have been bad on them, but it's tough on me, people like me. <laughs> So after the timeout, B.B. Comer will have the football first and 10 at the Dadeville 14-yard line. Harvey, the quarterback. Wilson, Brown, Cunningham, Barnett, and Denty on that front line for B.B. Comer. Cunningham, number 70, he'll snap the football. Cameron Gaddis in, who uh, mm -hmm. scored the first touchdown for Comer. 
B.B. Comer's got uh, some pretty good depth, too, especially at the skill positions. So they can bring Gaddis back in. I don't know what we're waiting on now. But we'll wind it up and go now. First down and 10 at the 14. Rolling this way, looking. He's going to pull it down. He's going to throw it in the end zone. It's in and out of the hands of the intended receiver who was wide open at the goal line. That's Datreon Wells, who had a touchdown. He just yeah, he couldn't right bring it hand, in. It? So second down and 10. They might come back to that a little bit later, but Wells are wide open. Yes. Kind of bounced off his pads a little bit. Yeah. Harris back in the game now. Second down and 10. Clock stops at 344 in the quarter. B.B. Comer leading 7 to nothing. Harris stutter steps and fumbles a football. It looks like Dable may have it at the 10-yard line. That's yep. very rare to see Kamori Harris fumble that football. And it's uh, Logan Champion with the uh, – He was Johnny on the spot to make the recovery. Yes. So, we'll turn over. B.B. Comer deep in Dable territory. They cough it up. So, the Tigers of Dable have it at their own 11-yard line, first and 10. That's definitely got to be frustrating for Comer, seeing how they were so close to the goal line. But now they just got to worry about playing defense. And they've played well on defense so far. The Tigers have uh, Wilson, Ruiz, Cunningham, and Datron Wells on that front four. First down and 10, just outside the 10-yard uh, line. Quarterback keeps, and he's hit and uh, picked up. up. Oh my goodness! Wow, <laughs> Kamori Harris. He stuck him pretty good, didn't he? Kamori <laughs> Harris and uh, number 19 with that insane tackle. There's Burns on the tackle. I mean, Burns on the carry of the quarterback. And Kamori Harris and Noah Wimmer just ate him up. They give him uh, about four yards on the carry. Clock running at three minutes to go in the first quarter. B.B. Comer seven, Daveville nothing. This is opening night of high school football for both Daveville and B.B. Comer. Burns works out of the eye this time. Two tight end set. First man through, missed a tackle. And some running room over the 20 to 23 yard line. Goes the ball carrier green. He picks up a first down. Good job there to trip him up by Devin Harvey and Christian Jemison, but a uh, good run by Dadeville. So first down for Dadeville. Just kind of an inside trap then. And uh, B.B. Comer kind of missed a tackle right there at the line of scrimmage. And ball carrier gets the first down. So out at the 23-yard line, David with a first down and 10, trailing 7-0, two minutes to go in the first quarter. I set with a man in the slot. Pitch. B.B. Calmer. Kind of. Wimmer out there to make sure the ball carrier goes down. Looked like he slipped a little bit, but no, Wimmer was definitely there to make the tackle yep. if he didn't. That's Eason on the carry for Dadeville. So second down and 10. B.B. Comer coming off a runner-up for the state championship. Uh, they lost to Fife last, night, uh, last year down in Auburn. And they're trying to get back there this year to win it all. Second down. And making a 
great tackle. Good job there. That's Raylan Sims. You know, Zach, Sims sniffed that out, knew what it was, kept it in front of him, and made the tackle. Broke down and made a great open field tackle. So I'll bring up third down with 50 seconds to go in the quarter. Lost a yard, so it's uh, third and very long, third and about uh, 12. He'd be calling defense, trying to get a stop here and get the ball back as we go to the second quarter. We'll probably get this play off here, and then uh, unless they throw for an incompletion, it should end the first quarter. And B.B. Comer calls a timeout. Coach Fawcett didn't like something that he saw. I don't know if he didn't have enough players on the field or didn't have the right alignment, but we'll just keep it right here uh, as we're in nearing the end of the first quarter. B.B. Comer leading Dable by a score of 7 to nothing. Zach, so far, so good for B.B. Comer's uh, offense, especially their defense. Yes, yeah, so defense have been locked down, and Kamori Harris and um, – Cameron Gaddis have been just eating it up on the offense. Yeah, Gaddis with that long touchdown run and put the Tigers on the board. The defense has played pretty well with uh, Wimmer and Wilson and others, including uh, Harvey and Kamori Harris. So 25 seconds left in the uh, first quarter. You know, Dave brought a, brought a pretty good crowd with them down from Tallapoosa County. I think that's Tallapoosa County. I believe it is. It's right down uh, Highway 280 uh, east of Alexander City. So, Coach Fawcett gets his uh, team aligned like he wants them. You see uh, Harris wiping the sweat off his arms and uh, everybody's sweating out there tonight, Zach. Yes, it's very hot. As you said, it feels like 101. Imagine playing in that with pads on. Well, the the humidity is high too. It was at 91% earlier. It just makes it feel hotter. So here we go now with the third down at about 12 for Dadeville trailing seven to nothing as Burns under center. Burns keeps it himself. And he breaks one tackle, fumbles the football. It's on the ground. And, and he ups back on it. on it. Back at the 18-yard line, but that was anybody's football. It really was. And um, job by number five to have a quick reaction and get back on it. Four seconds left. And the clock's going to run to zero as the first quarter comes to an end. The Sarah Automotive High School Game of the Week. B.B. Comer, seven, Dadeville, nothing. Back to Legion Stadium after this. 47 high school game of the week presented by Sarah Automotive here in Sylacauga. Also, high school action presented by Marvel City Pharmacy here in Sylacauga. Omnia Community Funeral Home, Charles Woods and Cadero Wood. And your State Farm agent, Albia Steers on Highway 21 in Sylacauga. High school football, hope you're enjoying it. Stay tuned for more. TV 47 and uh, the Alabama High School Athletic Association Park for you to bring you high school football tonight as the Tigers lead Dadeville by a score of seven to nothing. And Zach, thoughts on the first quarter? A uh, very good Colmer, very good quarter for Colmer. Uh, Dadeville hadn't done that bad either. They just need to work on their ball security. Colmer has played very good defense and very good offense. So Dadeville recovered their own fumble and uh, they uh, will punt the football away here now, trailing 7-0. B.B. Comer should get pretty good field position uh, to begin the second quarter. The play previous where we had uh, first quarter coming to an end and Dave with the fumble, B.B. Uh, Comer had uh, the quarterback in their sights. And uh, that was, again, Chris Wilson, but uh, he got outside of Chris. But he did fumble the football, and Dadeville recovers. They will punt it away. Got 
guess the referee's counting the player to make sure we got everybody. <laughs> Chaka to kick it away for Dadeville. They call a penalty there. There's any, any event, it's still fourth down. Chaka will punt from around his 11 yard line. Good snap, punch it out. End over end kick. That's going to take a Dadeville roll and bounce out of bounds somewhere near the 37 yard line. So BB Comer will go back on offense, leading 7 0. You know, talked about uh, the B.B. Comer Alumni Association. They had the big tiger walk and had their tent up at Bobby Overton Fieldhouse. And uh, they brought, uh, uh, invited uh, all the Tiger fans to come by. And uh, they were accepting some uh, more membership into the B.B. Comer Alumni Association, Biddy Burton and uh, Biddy Hawthorne, I should say. And uh, she was a Burton when I knew her a long time ago. And uh, over on uh, in the Mill Village. But uh, her and Cassie and uh, Carla. I'm at school with Carla. Boy, I sure miss that girl. Wow. Anyway, B.B. Comer got a first down at the 37-yard line, leading 7-0. Well, Kamori Harris Harry smothered Seymour. behind wow. the line. Oh, my goodness. 15 guys to bring him down, but... Great tackle there by Dadeville. That's um, number five who seems to be injured. That is uh, that's to Javion Burns right there. That is the third time that Harris's helmet has come off. My goodness. And Dadeville's got an injured player on the field, too. Can't blame him. They that's had about five like, or six players. That like lay on top him of him. That was crazy. <laughs> he is definitely in pain. Well, we've got just a minute. Let me uh, – Thank some of our sponsors. Uh, Bandits, of course, on West Fort Williams and Sylacauga. Bandits provided our pregame meal. And we've got, I think, three games going on from our studios here tonight. And uh, a lot of people to feed. We appreciate Bandits on uh, West Fort Williams for doing that. Uh, we mentioned the B.B. Comer Alumni Association. And uh, if you'd like to uh, be a part of that B.B. Comer Alumni Association, you can uh, talk to Biddy or to Randy Kane or any of the other uh, folks that are involved with that. Uh, our national anthem, I talked with uh, uh, Debbie Sanders today at Sylacauga Glass and uh, just said, you know, Debbie, won't you to partner with us? She said, you got it. Whatever we did last year, we'll do it again this year. So uh, we appreciate Debbie and the folks at Sylacauga Glass. Also, uh, the largest employer in our city is Sylacauga Coosa Valley Medical Center. And we appreciate all the folks there and, and it's a great hospital. Great emergency room, great uh, special services provided. Uh, that's Coosa Valley Medical Center here in Sylacauga and the injured player being helped off the field. To Javion Burns uh, seemed very shaken up, and he still doesn't seem 100%, but he's been helped off the field right now. It's a slow walk for the injured player, but we'll get back to action in just a minute. We're talking about Coosa Valley Medical Center. Uh, Towns our size, a lot of those towns have lost their hospitals, not Sylacauga. Coosa Valley Medical Center is a, is a staple in our community, do a great job and uh, employs a lot of people. And uh, we thank them for partnering with us to bring you high school football this season on TV 47 WOIL television. Tyler Lake County Revenue Commissioner Cindy Pennington, one of the great ladies in uh, county government, does a fantastic job as our Revenue Commissioner. That is Cindy Pennington here in Talladega County. So second down and long for the Tigers. Leading by a score of 7 to nothing. Four-man front. Now they bring up the three linebackers. So basically a seven-man front. They're going to throw the ball deep down the field. And it is going to be oh caught. My Look goodness. at this for a touchdown. That's a head toss right there. That's, uh, that's number three, Devin Harvey. Head top on three people. Number three, Devin Harvey. Great catch by him. That's one of those where you just went up and got it, wasn't it? Yes. There's a double coverage on the play. Two people. <laughs> Everybody is going crazy. 
Harvey just kind of wound up and threw that one. Yep. So, B.B. Comer with a 13 to nothing lead. As a point after by Wimmer to follow. Kick is up. And the kick is good. So with uh, 10.54 to go in the first half, B.B. Comer lead Dayville 14 to nothing. Back to Legion Stadium after this. There's a lot in life to smile about. Are loose dentures or missing teeth keeping you from enjoying the things you love? Don't miss out on enjoying life's precious moments. You can be you again with affordable mini dental implants. You can smile again, laugh out loud, and have your self-confidence back. Let us help you make it memorable. I'm Dr. Rick Redman. Call me today for a free consultation and give me the opportunity to change your life. Well, B.B. Comer with a 14 to nothing lead. And, uh, you know, Harvey just went up and got that thing, and Sims put it up there for him to get. And I bet the crowd is going crazy for that <laughs> right now. So the Tigers up 14 to nothing. Big throw and catch for B.B. Comer. And a two touchdown lead over the Daveville Tigers. Don't forget, at halftime, we've got the marching bands for B.B. Comer. Halftime show brought to you by Marble City Pharmacy. And again, we take a little bit of extra time uh, with the heat uh, after each quarter and after each touchdown. Uh, they take a little bit extra time to give the guys a chance to get a breather and maybe cool down a little bit. Sun's gone down now. And so it should be uh, cooling down just a little bit anyway. As B.B. Comer leads it by a score of 14 to nothing. Here with uh, 10.54 to go in the uh, first half. B.B. Comer Tiger football is brought to you by my buddy Rick Morris. You know, Rick, uh, originally from Sylacauga, he's a Mill Village guy, and uh, he's done well for himself, and but he's never forgotten where he came from. And I like to be around folks like that. Rick Morris uh, partnered with us for high school football tonight as well. Amya, uh, always supportive of student athletes. They're again with us here for high school football. Community Funeral Home, my friend Charles Woods, Cadero Woods. Pre need to at need funeral services, funerals, burials, or cremation. 511 Edgewood Drive in Sylacauga. It is Community Funeral Home. And uh, so many others. Uh, State Farm agent Albie Steers. Uh, he is my personal insurance agent for my home and automobiles. And uh, I've known Albie a long, long time. And uh, I haven't had to use their services a whole lot, but when I do, they're there. Uh, State Farm. State Farm agent Albie Steers on the Talladega Highway in Sylacauga. We're ready to kick off as BB Comer leads it 14 to nothing. And this one kicked in no man's land. They better get on it. That's a free ball right there. B.B. Comer should have got on that ball. That's number 17 who got on that for Comer, it looks like. That's Datreon Wells. You know, B.B. Comer, say. Got, they got confused uh, as that was a free ball. And, oh, no. Uh, They're saying that number 23 got it. Carden, I think it's Carden for B.B. Comer. Uh, let me look over here. Uh, Brandes Eason. It's Brown uh, that he got a little confused on it because he could have fell on that football. And be Comer ball. Yeah. So, it'll be a first down and 10 for Dadeville. They're fortunate they got that football at their 20-yard line. I think the kick return guy and the defender both a little confused as to uh, who could get the ball. Definitely. Still rather warm, uh, 89 degrees. The sun sets. And there's B.B. Comer. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what? Right back to oh. Dadeville. 
Wow. He's running it all the way to the 47 yard line. Fantastic run, but <laughs> is finally brought down by Chris Wilson to just come up from behind him. Good to have an athletic D lineman like that, but a, uh, they drew that up. That was right out the book. Dayful, Crazy play for Dave. Uh, the ball carrier fumbled the football, but he fumbled it right back into the hands of one of his teammates who runs it all the way out to the 47 yard line. So uh, not a bad play. And Dave has got an injured player down. Along the far sideline. So we will uh, get a quick timeout here with B.B. Comer leading Dadeville at Legion Stadium, 14 to nothing, 10.22 to go in the half. We'll be back after this. Amya Inc. is a leading global producer of calcium carbonate and a worldwide distributor of specialty chemicals. Amya has an unwavering commitment to quality and total customer satisfaction through leadership in manufacturing technology, product innovation, application expertise, incomparable service, and an exceptional understanding of our customers' needs. Amya takes pride in continuous direct customer communications to understand their changing needs for new product development and logistical support. Amya Inc. is pleased to have been a part of the Silicaga and surrounding communities since 1992. Back at Legion Stadium in Silicaga, B.B. Comer leading Dadeville 14 to nothing with 10.22 to go in the first half. Second quarter action brought to you by Marble City Pharmacy. And... Uh, well, those folks, uh, they remodeled the store, uh, added a drive through and uh, it's just been a tremendous asset, that drive through So, so many people are busy, and they can drive through right there and get their prescriptions filled and pick up their prescription orders. Jarrett and Jacob, all the folks at Marble City Pharmacy sponsoring high school football here on TV 47, W-O-I-L. Television. So after the timeout with the injured player, we're about set to go back to work. Here in the second quarter with 10.22 to go, B.B. Comer leading by a score of 14 to nothing. Dable's got some breathing room now out at their own 47, thanks to some kind of crazy looking play that uh, went from a fumble to a long gain. That was crazy. What would have been probably Comer ball turned into about a, it just a very good game for Dable. First down and uh, 10. Big hole. Touchdown, uh, to Dave. He does. B.B. Comer was caught in a bad defensive a set. That's number 23. We've been calling his name a lot tonight. That's Brandon Eason. And nobody touched him. Nobody touched him at all. That was a <laughs> great run by him. So just like that, it's 14 to 6. B.B. Comer uh, wasn't in the right position. Somebody wasn't because he ran in untouched. At 54 yards for a touchdown run. Baker to attempt the point after out of the hole of McKelvey. 14 to six with a point after to follow. They got a long time. They kick it up and the kick is good. So just like that, Dadeville answers B.B. Comer with a touchdown of their own. B.B. Comer 14 and Dadeville seven, nine 53 to go in the uh, first half. So, Dable shows that they can put points on the board. B.B. Comer's going to answer here as we go under the 10-minute mark in the second quarter. Uh, not so good a first quarter for Dadeville, but they seem to have turned it around in the second quarter so far. 14-7, to seven, Comer. So, B.B. Comer will try to get uh, Harris more involved, I'm sure, on this next series. He's had some runs, but He's had some issues with his helmet coming off, too. He's had to check out two or three times with that. 9.53 to go in the uh, first half. 14-7. to B.B. Comer leading Dadeville here on our first high school game of the week on WOIL TV 47. 
High School Football is brought to you in part by Sarah Automotive on Highway 280. Sarah's partnered with us for the last five years to bring you high school football. And uh, they're right there on Highway 280 here in Sylacauga. Uh, to, uh, the Honda store, the Ford store, and uh, the Nissan store. And you can save some money right now on new and previously owned vehicles at Sarah Automotive on Highway 280 here in Sylacauga. High School Football is brought to you uh, by uh, B.B. Comer Alumni Association and Earlene's Flowers. I want to talk about them just a minute. Uh, Don Conville and the folks at Earlene's. I talked with Don about uh, being a part of our high school coverage uh, this year, and he is excited about doing that. For all your floral needs, it is uh, – Earlene's Flowers here in Sylacauga. Kickoff coming up. And the return is on. And not a whole lot of running room out to the 35-yard line. That's a great tackle there by number 13. Kirksey on the kickoff return for B.B. Comer. B.B. Comer will have it with 9.45 to go in the first half, leading 14-7 to at the 36-yard line. First down and 10. The Tigers of B.B. Comer trying to make some noise in 2A football. Dave was a 3A school. Good run there by number six. Out to about the 40-yard line. Good run, but then just gets stormed. You no, know, they've got Sims, swarm of Dadeville they've players. They've got Weed, uh, and these guys don't look that much difference uh, in the way they carry the ball. So it's at the 40-yard line. It'll be second down and about uh, six yards to go. Sims in the backfield. Harvey gives to Sims. Sims got a little running room. He's across the 45 to the 50. Trucks a man, and, but then uh, gets pushed out of bounds by number yard line. Line. He's not one guy down. Roger Green pushed him out of bounds. Trucked hit, and uh, on the way, he trucked his player and uh, the opponent. At the Dadeville 46-yard line, it's first down, B.B. Comer. And you know the Tigers would like to answer that touchdown from Dadeville with one of their own. Definitely to get this a uh, tie game. Maury Harris out wide left. Harvey saw some playing time at quarterback last year. He's going to look to throw. Got time, throws it down a deep field. And it's off the intended receiver's hand, and that's Kamori Harris. Harris usually catches those balls. He does. Number one, Javarius Askew, a uh, pretty decent coverage and indicating that uh, he just strapped you up. B.B. Comer went for it all then. And bring up second down. B.B. Comer's been very successful the last few years under the direction of Coach Adam Fawcett. At the 46-yard line, second down and 10. Threw that one short. And, uh, it was uh, kind of looked like you throwing that ball, Zach. Okay, I can throw a little <laughs> better than that. 
intended he threw it for, well uh, short of the intended receiver, Weed. So third down and 10. Clock stops at 8.40 to go in the first half. Number one, the corner for Dadeville is uh, talking big game, and so far he's had the uh, game to back it up. Third and long. Harvey's in trouble, and he is going to be sacked back at the 45-yard line. That's a great sack by number 13. So, Dadeville with a good defensive stand, and they'll force B.B. Comer to punt the football. So, uh, Dadeville with a touchdown and then a stop, and they're going to get the football back. Fourth down. Wilson to punt for B.B. Comer. He stands at his 33-yard line. Gets it out of there. Sky kick. Pretty good punt. High bounce. It takes a tiger bounce inside the 10, and it's going to roll to about the five-yard line. Great punt there. Yeah. When he hits that turf, that thing starts bouncing. It does. Yeah. So Wilson with an excellent punt. And it puts uh, Dadeville back at their five-yard line with 7.41 to go in the first half. E.B. Comer leading by a score of 14 to 7. The Tigers. Let's have a timeout here. So let's let's take a quick timeout uh, with BB Comer leading 14 to seven. We're back after this. Amya Inc. is a leading global producer of calcium carbonate and a worldwide distributor of specialty chemicals. Five hundred dollars over invoice now at Tony Sarah Ford. Every new Ford on the lot, five hundred dollars over invoice when you trade in finance with Tony Sarah Ford plus three point nine percent financing for seventy two months. Save thousands on new F one fifties and more, all backed by Sarah's lifetime warranty, no charge. Every new Ford, five hundred dollars over invoice at Tony Sarah Ford in Silicaga, TonySarahFord.com. B.B. Comer leading 14-7 to with a heat timeout here at Legion Stadium in Silicaga. B.B. Comer next week travels over to Childersburg to take on the Childersburg Tigers in a non-region contest. Childersburg playing tonight. They're uh, playing Munford at Munford. Sulacaga losing last night to uh, Winona, 38-7. to Winneboro with a big win last night as well. So some teams played last night, others uh, opening the season tonight. So it'll be a first down and 10 for Dadeville. Uh, they're at their own five yard line. Just trying this not is to get heard on the center this time out of the eye formation. And uh, nothing happening. B.B. Comer wraps up, maybe got a yard out of it, and that's all. Running over his own teammates and then gets swarmed by. Uh, a herd of Tigers. Eason on the carry. He actually got uh, about three yards out of that. Pretty good spot by the officials. Second down and uh, seven with seven minutes to go in the half. We'll get our halftime show coming up in just a little while. Heard is going to throw it. Now he pulls it down, and he's got a little running room across the 15 to the 17-yard line. He's got a first down. 
Really good run there and uh, good tackle by number four. That was uh, Christian Jemison. So Hurd runs for a first down. He's a junior. And it's out at the 17 yard line now. B.B. Comer leads Dadeville 14 to seven. Her drops it, picks it up, and uh, this kid's doing some damage here. He crosses at 25 before he's tackled there. But on a drop snap, he makes something out of it. He picks up uh, about eight yards. Another great run for Dadeville. A uh, good tackle there by Caden Brown. Way to get over there. Well, if we got a penalty here, I think we do, yeah. Marked off of the 20-yard line. That's a holding, it looks like. And it takes it back to the original. Takes it back to the 10-yard line. It is holding on Dadeville. You know, we haven't seen any penalties, very few tonight, none on B.B. Comer so far. None on B.B. Comer. We had that one face mask on That's Dadeville. Right. So at the 10-yard line, they go deep in their own territory, trailing 14 to seven, six minutes to go and a half. Heard out of the eye formation. B.B. Comer, five man front. And Harris trying to chase him, or Wilson trying to chase him down, misses oh my him, goodness. but B.B. Comer out at the 17 yard line Crazy Wilson uh, just missed him, didn't he? Crazy juke there by number 26, but a uh, good tackle from Comer. 5.20 to go in the half. So number nine, Richard Weed with the tackle. dave has got a ways to go for a first down. About 12 yards to go from the 17 yard line. We're gonna get a heat timeout. Timeout is called. B.B. Comer leading 14 to seven, back with more Tiger football right after this. High School Football here on TV 47, brought to you by Sarah Automotive on Highway 280 in Sylacauga, and by your number one employer in the city of Sylacauga, Coosa Valley Medical Center in Fayetteville. It is Lori Darling's Restaurant and by the B.B. Comer Alumni Association. National Anthem presented by Silicaga Glass. Enjoy high school football here on TV 47 WOIL television. Legion Stadium in Silicaga, the venue tonight for B.B. Comer and Dadeville. We'll be over in Childersburg next week for B.B. Comer and Childersburg. Then the following week, we'll be here at Legion Stadium with Silicaga and Elmore County. So after the timeout, David will snap the football from their 17 yard line, 4.59 to go in the first half. B.B. Comer 14, Dade will 7. It's a warm night in Sylacauga, Alabama, as it's been hot, uh, especially hot this week here in the state. In Sylacauga, 98 degrees, a daytime high today. Under center is Hurd. And there's some running room. This is Burns, and Burns is off to the races. He's the 45-40, and he's tripped up, pulled down from behind at the 28-yard line. Fantastic run, but a great chase down there by Richard Weed, and both of them look pretty shaken up after that play. E.B. Comer has given up some big plays on the ground, and that was one of them right there. Got two players injured, Burns, for Dave, well, he may have a cramp that they're going to work on right there. And that's not unusual for this time of the year either. 
4.46 to go as B.B. Comer leading 14 to 7. Back to the stadium right after this. Coosa Valley Medical Center, one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama, is also Silicaga's largest employer. Services from the emergency room to surgery to cancer treatment to post-stroke care. You won't believe what's right in your backyard. It's Coosa Valley Medical Center in Silicaga. So, if you're sick in Alabama, choose one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama. That is Coosa Valley Medical Center. Heritage South Credit Union proudly serves the cities of Sylacauga, Childersburg, Moody, and surrounding counties. Unlike regular banks, Heritage South Credit Union is member-owned. And with over 13,000 members, Heritage South Credit Union is the premier financial institution in the markets they serve. Visit them online at myhscu.com. Heritage South Credit Union, your community credit union for over 80 years. Federally insured by the NCUA. A funeral service represents a family's final farewell to their loved ones. Knowing this, we go beyond what is expected to ensure the ceremony is beautiful and memorable, a truly fitting tribute to that special life. We invite you to visit us to meet our staff and tour our renovated facility complete with a new dining area and catering services. We've been serving the people of this area for over 40 years and we think that you'll be pleased to find that making lasting impressions remains our first priority. Curtis and Son Funeral Home, Silicaga, Childersburg. Well, the injured player helped off the field, and uh, we're back to action. David with the first down and 10, trailing 14 to 7 at B.B. Comer's 27-yard line. Heard with a pitch on the corner. This time, B.B. Comer's Wilson wraps him up for That's no right. gain. Wilson and also number 70, Alex Cunningham, getting in on that tackle. Brady Knox on the carry. So second down. And loss of a couple on that play. 14 to seven, Comer with four minutes left in the first half. Second and 12. B.B. Comer would love to stop Dadeville here. You know, both these teams have got to be very tired. It's very, very warm and uh, this is the first game of the season for both these teams. Good stop by the Tigers defensively. Great job there. That's, uh, oh my goodness, Kamori Harris. Helmet comes off again, and Alex Cunningham seems to be on the ground injured. Kamori Harris is very frustrated. Harris having to come out again. With the helmet off, B.B. Comer's got an injured player. This may be a little bit more serious, more than a cramp. Let's see about this one. We'll, we'll tell you about it when we come back from the break. B.B. Comer leading by a score of 14 to seven. I was in a car accident on my front tooth cracked. It definitely embarrassed a smile. I got mini dental implants. It changed my life because it made me feel like me. Like I can smile and feel like Ashley. I just wanna say thank you. You can be you again with many dental implants. I'm Dr. Rick Redmond. Call me today for a free consultation and give me the opportunity to change your life. I'm more than happy, I'm ecstatic. Hope you're enjoying high school football, the game of the week here on WOIL TV 47. It's all brought to you by Heritage South Federal Credit Union. Also by Mr. Rick Morris and by Bandits on West Fort Williams in Sylacauga and Earlene's Flowers on the Talladega Highway in Sylacauga, Alabama. High School Football on WOIL TV 47. Continue to enjoy the action. It's a great lineman in Alex Cunningham for Comer and uh, you definitely don't want to see that him being hobbled off the field. He definitely looked shake it up. Yeah, he's favoring that right leg. Maybe a right ankle injury, and those things can give you real problems, and that's a big blow for B.B. Comer losing him. Definitely. He is one of their very good linemen, and uh, you don't want to see that happen. 
But uh, thoughts and prayers towards him. Taking his time getting off the field. And if you've had, ever had an ankle turned. Yeah, that's not uh, a good you, feeling. It makes you slow. So B.B. Calmer will shift some offensive linemen around. Or some defensive linemen around, excuse me. As we're getting close to halftime, 3.26 to go in the first half. David with a third down and 11. He kind of slowed the game down to uh, crawl here the last few minutes. Injured players and timeouts. Went for the power eye that time. And this guy's really hurt B.B. Colbert tonight. Tie he game. To the end zone for another touchdown. Wow. Tie Just game. 14-14. Like that is uh, number 23. We've called his name a lot. Eason. Brandon Eason. Second touchdown of the night. Yes. He has been electrifying this game so far. Matching up with Kamori Harris. So with the point after, Dave can tie the game up. So they played well here in the second quarter. B.B. Colmer kind of controlled the first quarter. Dave in the second quarter. Definitely. And after seeing that blow to Alex Cunningham, that's got to hurt Colmer. Point after with 2.50 to go in the first half. Dave will try to tie it up here at Legion Stadium in Sylacauga. Kick is up and the kick uh, whistles blow and let's see the penalty on the play. And that's against B.B. Calmer offside. You know, B.B. Calmer looks a little bit out of kilter a bit here. Yeah, it looks like Richard Wee kind of got uh, a little anxious. And uh, there's a timeout. We'll take one as well. We'll come back to Legion Stadium after the timeout. B.B. Culver and Dable, they're neck and neck here at Legion Stadium in Sylacauga. High School Football here on TV 47, WOIL Television, brought to you by Sarah Automotive on Highway 280 in Sylacauga and presented by State Representative District 33, Ben Robbins, Donahue Physical Therapy on West Fort Williams, and Talladega County Commissioner, Cindy Pennington. Hope you're enjoying high school football here on TV 47, WOIL Television. If you've got $29, you've got the down payment for a brand new Nissan. Now at Sarah Nissan, three locations. Every vehicle, just $29 down, plus 0% financing for 60 months, 700 new Nissans, and you get a lifetime warranty, no charge. 0% financing for 60 months. Every vehicle, just $29 down. Now at Sarah Nissan in Birmingham and Sylacauga, plus Tony Sarah Nissan in Coleman. The all-new Marble City Pharmacy in Sylacauga is your destination for the highest quality health care. Our remodeled and expanded pharmacy gives us the space to serve more patients. We've added a drive through window for those times when you don't feel like getting out of your vehicle. And we still offer delivery within city limits. We feature a full line of over-the-counter medications and supplements. And don't forget our stunning new gift department. New building, same great people. Marble City Pharmacy, here for life. Back with a two-point conversion, Dadeville is going to take the lead here, and they do. Well, I they might the not have got it. official said, yeah. He did. Dadeville with the lead, 15-14. to 14. So they went for the two-point conversion after the five-yard offside penalty against B.B. Comer. And so Dadeville, for the first time tonight, has taken the lead over the B.B. Comer Tigers. And... Uh, take your hat off to Dadeville. B.B. Calmer had a 14 to nothing lead, and Dadeville just stormed back. They definitely did. They had a great second quarter. 2.50 to go in the first quarter, or first half. We'll take another timeout back in a minute. 
Shop with confidence at King's Mattress Gallery. Newly stocked signature sectionals and recliners for any size room. Mega motion and signature lift chairs. Sealy hybrid duo chill mattresses for a cool night's sleep. Temper ergo smart bases that respond to snoring automatically. Visit King's Mattress Gallery today. Family owned and operated since 1994. Proudly serving in Silicaga and surrounding areas. TV 47's High School Game of the Week, presented by Sarah Automotive here in Sylacauga. Also, High School Action, presented by Marble City Pharmacy here in Sylacauga. Omnia Community Funeral Home, Charles Woods at Cadero Wood. And your State Farm agent, Albia Steers, on Highway 21 in Sylacauga. High School Football, hope you're enjoying it. Stay tuned for more. Well, Dave, with that two-point conversion, and the Tigers have taken the lead over B.B. Comer 15 to 14, and if you had looked at it the first quarter and a few minutes in the second quarter, you wouldn't have ever thought this. You'd have thought B.B. Comer was about to have a blowout, but uh, don't count Dable out. They're a tough football team. 15 to 14 with the uh, extra heat timeout here tonight. And uh, you can tell uh, it seemed like that Davil is picking up the pace a little bit, and B.B. Comer back on their heels a little bit. Yes, and you know it's got to be frustrating for Kamori Harris right now because helmet coming off every two plays pretty much, and, you know, you're losing time for him. B.B. Comer's got to get something going here in the latter part of the second period to uh, get some kind of semblance back of their offense because they've been kind of dormant the last uh, couple of series. So let's see what happens here. The Tigers are going to get the football trailing 15 to 14. Going to kick out of bounds. B.B. Comer will have it at their own 35-yard line. Good starting field position for the Tigers. And plenty of time, 250 to go in the uh, first half. And I think they're going to re-kick it. Yep. You know, you get a penalty for kicking it yep. out of bounds. So it's either a re-kick or they get it at the – yeah, it's going to be a re-kick. So I'll move it back. And Dave will kick from the 35. It appears that the heat is wearing on B.B. Comer maybe a little bit more than it, than it is Dadeville right now because Dadeville seems to have a spring in their step with some big running plays and getting some crisp blocks on B.B. Comer defenders. B.B. Comer with that offside penalty gave a little pooch kick right here and it's Taking the end at the 45-yard line, so B.B. Comer with excellent field position. So, uh, Tylen Buckingham to uh, fall on the ball for Comer. So, B.B. Comer with excellent field position. Trailing 15 to 14. B.B. Comer didn't trail a whole lot last year. They did against Fife, but not in the regular season a whole lot. I remember we did the Vincent game. They they got behind in that one, but they came back and won it in overtime. That was a crazy game. They, I was. think they won it on the two-point conversion. 45-yard line, first and 10 for the Tigers, trading 15 to 14. Bad snap. Yep. He better fall on it and does all the way back to the 28-yard line. B.B. Comer is out of sync right now. Bad snap, but a good job by number 13 to get back there and make sure he didn't get any yeah, it just slipped through Harvey's hands. Yeah. Then. So, uh, second down and very long for B.B. Comer. Two eighteen to go in the first half. 
And B.B. Comer trails 15 to 14. And we've got a timeout by B.B. Comer. And uh, while we got this timeout, uh, before we go to break, it appears that B.B. Comer is tired. Yes. Uh, they may not be, but it just appears from uh, this viewpoint that they may be dragging a little bit uh, from the heat. And, uh, some of those guys are pretty big guys, and that's got to be difficult for them. Coach Fawcett trying to get to spring back in their step a little bit with a timeout. B.B. Comer trails 15 to 14, and uh, they're in a deep hole here with uh, two minutes to go in the first half. We'll take a quick break and back to Legion Stadium in just a minute. There's a lot in life to smile about. Are loose dentures or missing teeth keeping you from enjoying the things you love? Don't miss out on enjoying life's precious moments. You can be you again with affordable mini dental implants. You can smile again, laugh out loud, and have your self-confidence back. Let us help you make it memorable. I'm Dr. Rick Redmond. Call me today for a free consultation and give me the opportunity to change your life. Second down in law and another bad exchange as a quarterback again, Harvey bobbled a snap and this time it's all the way back to the uh, 19 yard line. Good job by number 13. We've been calling his name a lot tonight and uh, to Javion Burns to get back there. I don't know if the his hands are wet with sweat or the ball is slick or what, but he's bobbled the last two snaps. So third down and a cab ride for sure. Minute 25 to go, and Coach Foster would be glad to get to halftime. Third and very, very long. And another miscue by the quarterback. He falls on it back at the two-yard line. My goodness. That's, That's got to be frustrating. snaps that we've had a problem with. So that'll bring up fourth down. And B.B. Uh, Calmer having to call another timeout. Now Dadeville calls a timeout with 53 seconds to go. They're going to get the football back and an opportunity to put more points on the scoreboard before halftime. You know, in the first quarter, Comer was steamrolling. They were scoring touchdowns. Now they're just trying to get a snap off. I don't, th I don't think I've ever seen three consecutive plays where the quarterback has mishandled the snap. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it's a lack of concentration or moisture on the ball or on his hands or what, but three straight times they've had issues getting the snap to the quarterback. And we've got a timeout now, and we'll take a 30-second break and come back with Dave over the football after this. Amya has an unwavering commitment to quality and total customer satisfaction through leadership in manufacturing technology, product innovation, application expertise, incomparable service, and an exceptional understanding of our customers' needs. Amya takes pride in continuous direct customer communications to understand their changing needs for new product development and logistical support. Amya Inc. is pleased to have been a part of the Silicaga and surrounding communities since 1992. After the timeout, uh, Dadeville is going to have pretty good field position. B.B. Colbert is going to have to punt out of their own end zone. And uh, it's definitely upsetting for Comer to see three straight snaps. Don't see that too often. Wilson stands at the back of his own end zone. And what a turn of events. I mean, I would have never thought this. But give credit to Dadeville. They've had a lot to do with it. Good punt. Low punt that takes uh, Dave will bounce, and it's going to go out of bounds at the B.B. Comer 37-yard line. Great field position for Dadeville. Plenty of time left, 44 seconds. Comer hoping to uh, not allow Dadeville to score again before halftime. They definitely do not want to go into that with the first quarter. You are right about that. At the 37-yard line, Dadeville will have it. 
And they've just kind of run roughshod over B.B. Comer here, in especially the second quarter. First down and 10, Dadeville 15, B.B. Comer 14, with 44 seconds left to go in the first half. I just, I, I just can't get over those three snaps uh, and put B.B. Comer back in the throws of their own goal line and had to punt. Four-man front, B.B. Comer getting some folks around a great play then. They needed that. Good tackle there. That's uh, number 17, Datreon Wells with the tackle. B.B. Comer needed that stop right there. We're at 30 seconds now, and Dave will calls a timeout. We'll keep it here uh, for this one as B.B. Comer needs to make a stop here and keep Daveville out of the end zone. They've given up two touchdowns here in the second quarter. They led 14 to nothing. Daveville stormed back to take the lead 15 to 14. And uh, threatening for more here late in the first half. As B.B. Comer has got to get to the dressing room and, and uh, kind of regroup a little bit, Zach. Definitely. You don't want to see this in the third quarter, but um, I'm pretty sure they'll come back out of the locker room locked and ready. And they've got to get Kamor Harris more involved in the offense. And they got to tighten up his helmet, too. Yeah. Yep. So, Dadeville with the lead and the timeout and great field position with 30 seconds to go in the first half. B.B. Comer with a good stop on the first down play. You can expect Dable to probably throw it here. 15 to 14, Dable on top. Fumble snap, B.B. Comer looks like they got it. Wow. <laughs> it looked like there was a flag, legal procedure, yeah, false start. Legal motion against Dadeville, and that was an odd looking play too. <laughs> this is a situation where you're glad you got a flag. That would have been Comer football. Yeah. Heard the quarterback, he came out under center and didn't have the football. So at the 37 yard line, Steve Heard throws it up here. He's looking, got time, going deep down the field into single coverage and it's incomplete. That was intended for Intended for Brandez Eason. We've called his name a lot tonight, who has scored both of the touchdowns for Dadeville. Now the pass was thrown short. So we'll bring up third down now. Her didn't have a whole lot on that throw. Getting near the end of the first half, 22 seconds to go. Dadeville 15, BB Comer 14. I just imagine both teams would be glad to get in the dressing room. A little razzle dazzle, the Tigers are not food. <laughs> Good job by number 11 to get there. That's Michael Kirksey. And uh, this that's, will likely be, uh, that that's will probably, probably end the first half right there. Time. As the first half will come to a close with B.B. Comer trailing Dadeville by a score of 15 to 14 as uh, the Tigers get to the dressing room and try to regroup a little bit after a difficult second quarter. B.B. Comer 15, or trailing 15 to 14. We'll be back to Legion Stadium with halftime action right after this. There's a lot in life to smile about. Are loose dentures or missing teeth keeping you from enjoying the things you love? Don't miss out on enjoying life's precious moments. You can be you again with affordable mini dental implants. You can smile again, laugh out loud, and have your self-confidence back. Let us help you make it memorable. I'm Dr. Rick Redman. Call me today for a free consultation and give me the opportunity to change your life. 
Amya Inc. is the leading global producer of calcium carbonate and a worldwide distributor of specialty chemicals. Amya has an unwavering commitment to quality and total customer satisfaction through leadership in manufacturing technology, product innovation, application expertise, incomparable service, and an exceptional understanding of our customers' needs. Amya takes pride in continuous direct customer communications to understand their changing needs for new product development and logistical support. Amya Inc. is pleased to have been a part of the Silicaga and surrounding communities since 1992. $500 over invoice. Now at Tony Sarah Ford. Every new Ford on the lot. $500 over invoice. When you trade in finance with Tony Sarah Ford. Plus 3.9% financing for 72 months. Save thousands on new F-150s and more. All backed by Sarah's lifetime warranty. No charge. Every new Ford. $500 over invoice at Tony Sarah Ford. In Silicaga. TonySarahFord.com. High School Football here on TV 47, brought to you by Sarah Automotive on Highway 280 in Sylacauga. And by your number one employer in the city of Sylacauga, Coosa Valley Medical Center. In Fayetteville, it is Lori Darling's Restaurant. And by the B.B. Calmer Alumni Association. National Anthem presented by Sylacauga Glass. Enjoy High School Football here on TV 47, WOIL Television.
Coosa Valley Medical Center, one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama, is also Sylacauga's largest employer. Services from the emergency room, to surgery, to cancer treatment, to post-stroke care. You won't believe what's right in your backyard. It's Coosa Valley Medical Center in Sylacauga. So, if you're sick, in Alabama, choose one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama. That is Coosa Valley Medical Center. Heritage South Credit Union proudly serves the cities of Sylacauga, Childersburg, Moody, and surrounding counties. Unlike regular banks, Heritage South Credit Union is member-owned. And with over 13,000 members, Heritage South Credit Union is the premier financial institution in the markets they serve. Visit them online at myhscu.com. Heritage South Credit Union, your community credit union for over 80 years. Federally insured by the NCUA.
A funeral service represents a family's final farewell to their loved ones. Knowing this, we go beyond what is expected to ensure the ceremony is beautiful and memorable, a truly fitting tribute to that special life. We invite you to visit us to meet our staff and tour our renovated facility complete with a new dining area and catering services. We've been serving the people of this area for over 40 years and we think that you'll be pleased to find that making lasting impressions remains our first priority. Curtis and Son Funeral Home, Sylacauga, Childersburg. I was in a car accident on um, my front tooth cracked. It definitely embarrassed the smile. I got many dental implants. It changed my life because it made me feel like me. Like I can smile and feel like Ashley. I just wanna say thank you. You can be you again with many dental implants. I'm Dr. Rick Redmond. Call me today for a free consultation and give me the opportunity to change your life. I'm more than happy, I'm ecstatic. Hope you're enjoying high school football, the game of the week here on WOIL TV 47. It's all brought to you by Heritage South Federal Credit Union. Also by Mr. Rick Morris and by Bandits on West Fort Williams in Sylacauga and Earlene's Flowers on the Talladega Highway in Sylacauga, Alabama. High school football on WOIL TV 47. Continue to enjoy the action. High School Football here on TV 47, WOIL Television, brought to you by Sarah Automotive on Highway 280 in Sylacauga, and presented by State Representative District 33, Ben Robbins, Donahue Physical Therapy on West Fort Williams, and Talladega County Commissioner Cindy Pennington. Hope you're enjoying High School Football here on TV 47, WOIL Television. If you've got $29, you've got the down payment for a brand new Nissan. Now at Sarah Nissan, three locations. Every vehicle, just $29 down, plus 0% financing for 60 months, 700 new Nissans, and you get a lifetime warranty, no charge. 0% financing for 60 months. Every vehicle, just $29 down. Now at Sarah Nissan in Birmingham and Sylacauga, plus Tony Sarah Nissan in Coleman. Back at Legion Stadium in Sylacauga, we are at halftime. Both bands have performed and uh, getting set to go back to work in the third quarter with Daveville leading B.B. Comer 15 to 14. And uh, Zach Daveville had a very strong second quarter to uh, take the lead over B.B. Comer. And B.B. Uh, Comer looked like they were a little winded late in the first half. Let's see if that halftime break helped them out a little bit. They did. Comer definitely looked really strong in the first quarter, but in the second quarter it just looked like they completely let loose. And Brandez Eason completely took control for Dadeville and um, got them two touchdowns, and now they got the lead. Yeah, the Tigers of B.B. Comer, uh, Kamori Harris ran it a couple of three times, uh, but didn't. Uh, he had some big runs, but uh, he had trouble with his helmet uh, coming off and had to go out of the game, and uh, he, he couldn't get really – uh, going the way he wanted to. Let's see if he can do that in the second half. Is In the second quarter, Dave ran the football very well on B.B. Comer's defense. They did, especially with Brandez Eason. He definitely got a couple touchdowns. You're right, and B.B. Uh, Comer trailing 15-14 to 14 as we get set to go in the third quarter. Uh, high school football brought to you by Sarah Automotive on Highway 280 in Sylacauga. Uh, of course, for the Ford store, the uh, uh, Honda store, and the Nissan store here in Sylacauga. That's uh, Sarah Automotive here in Sylacauga on Highway 280. State Representative District 33, Ben Robbins, and Ben's done a fantastic job uh, in his service to uh, District 33, uh, Coosa and Talladega counties. Donahue Physical Therapy, that uh, physician of years, uh, surgeon, whoever it may be, orders physical therapy for you. Tell him you want to use Donahue Physical Therapy. They're the pros. They're on, how, on uh, Fort Williams here in Sylacauga. Here is South Federal Credit Union, one of our wonderful sponsors. Uh, two locations here in Sylacauga, uh, James Payton Boulevard and on Broadway uh, in Sylacauga. Here is South Federal Credit Union. 
Marble City Pharmacy on West Fort Williams. Jared and Jacob, uh, what do you say about those guys? They, they remodeled the store, got the drive through window there, and they uh, probably the top pharmacy in the area as far as prescriptions is concerned. That is Marble City Pharmacy. Community Funeral Home, my friend Charles Woods and Cadero Wood at Community Funeral Home. Known these guys a long time. Pre-need to at-need funeral services, funerals, burials, or cremation. It is uh, Community Funeral Home, 511 Edgewood Drive in Silicon. Coosa Valley Medical Center, uh, largest employer in our city. They provide some great, great services uh, here in Silicaga from the ER to surgery uh, to cancer treatment and all that kind of stuff. It is uh, Coosa Valley Medical Center. Talladega County Revenue Commander, Commissioner Cindy Pennington. Cindy is always available uh, when needed. And uh, she does a fantastic job. We're so glad to have her with us uh, as one of our wonderful sponsors, Talladega County Revenue Commissioner Cindy Pennington. Dade will kicks off with B.B. Comer uh, getting the football. B.B. Comer won the uh, toss at the beginning of the game. They deferred to the second half. So they'll get the football. And let's see if the Tigers can get something going uh, here in the third quarter offensively trailing 15 to 14. Legion Stadium in Sylacauga. Temperatures dropped a little bit, and that's a good thing because uh, it hadn't dropped a whole lot. It's uh, 80 degrees currently now, and uh, feels like 89 degrees, so it's still rather warm. But uh, things will get a little bit more tolerable as we work through the second half from the stadium in Sylacauga. The officials uh, uh, gonna move the football back to the 35 yard line, I guess. Yeah. So, Zach, B.B. Comer uh, with Garrett, I think B.B. Uh, B. Comer just got to get a little bit more untracked on offense here in the second half. Yes, they, like I said, they ran it well in the first quarter, and but in the second quarter, like as everybody saw, three straight bad snaps. Yeah. Let's see if they Un can turn that around. Almost unheard of. Uh, picked up at the 15-yard line across the 20. Running laterally at 25, knocked out of bounds at the 30-yard line. It'll be first down and 10 for B.B. Comer as uh, Sims with a kickoff return. Forced out of bounds by Brandez Easton. We've called his name a lot tonight. Got the uh, two touchdowns for Dadeville to put them in the lead. All right, B.B. Comer offensively. We'll have Kamori Harris back there with uh, Devin Harvey, Harvey the quarterback. Weed in the football game for B.B. Comer. And Dadeville on the opening kickoff has an injured player. And looks like he's going to be able to get off, get up and get off the field under his own power. Probably caught a cramp. Yeah, cramps are a bad thing to have, buddy. <laughs> we got to be real careful in this kind of heat with uh, young guys who uh, have been working hard all fall camp and played the Jamboree game last week. This is their first real action. The starters didn't play a whole lot last week. First down and 10 for the Tigers from the 30-yard line. Harvey keeps it himself. He's across the 35-40. He's at... 45 yard line before he's pushed out of bounds. Pushed out of bounds by uh, number two. That's Cameron Hurd. It's going to be interesting talking with Coach Fawcett in the next day or two is what they attributed to the three snaps that went through the quarterback's hand. I know there's something, he's just not missing them. There's something going on there. Either the Ball so at the 45, we'll, we'll see uh, maybe next week what went on there. Rolling right, looking, and he pulls it down, and he is pushed out of bounds at the 47-yard line. That is a Harvey on the carry again, the quarterback. Number five to Javian Burns pushed him out of bounds. So second down and about seven.
You can uh, stream us here uh, tonight, too, on uh, the Internet. Here's a big guy to about the 50-yard line. Brought down by two guys, one of them being Logan Champion and the, the other being Tory Rimstad. Moore Harris picked up two. So it'll be third down and five. Possession down early in the third quarter for B.B. Comer. Need to, and Dave will help them out a little bit. Drew them offside. That should give the Tigers the first down. Hadn't been a whole lot of penalties uh, in the game. There have been some, but not, not too many. Looks like it's going to be a half yard short of the first down. So it'll be third down and less than a yard. See if he goes with Harris or keeps it himself. He's going to keep it himself. He's got the first down and more running room. Inside the 30, inside the 25 to the 20-yard line goes quarterback Devin Harvey. Great run by him and a good job to chip him up. That's uh, Redrick Green. So the Tigers loosening things up a little bit with their running game here in the third quarter. They're at the Dadeville 20-yard line. Ten and a half to go in the third. Dadeville leading B.B. Comer 15 to 14. We had some technical problems with our uh, scoreboard that usually runs, and we'll have that ironed out next week. Harvey looking to throw, and you got a man open off the hands of the intended receiver who was running free in the end zone. That's Richard Weed. He had Weed wide open, he just did. put it a little too far out in front of him. Weed's a little guy, you know. He's not he very is. tall, but little he's very guy, fast. But little guy, but packs a powerful punch. Second down and 10 at the 20. Dadeville 15, B.B. Comer 14. 10.05 to go in the third quarter. Harvey again. He's tackled Good after night. a gain of two. Slung down by number five to Javian Burns. Great tackle. And uh, threw Harvey down pretty yeah. hard then. Looks pretty shaken up. Uh, he'll be okay. So third down and eight. Now, in the Jamboree last week, fall Jamboree, uh, Weimer, uh, Weimer kicked a 41 yard field goal. So it's within his range here if they choose to do that, if they don't convert on this third down. There's Harris breaking tackles. Harris bullying his way. Touchdown, Touchdown. Comer. That's Comore Harris that we know right there. Three people on his back still carries him to a touchdown. There's Comore Harris. The All-State running back, Moore Harris, from 18 yards, and the Tigers retake the lead. 20 to 15, Comer. So, B.B. Comer answers the bell to begin the third quarter with a nice drive. See if the Tigers go for two here. Looks like they will. Twenty to fifteen. Harvey's gonna look and maybe try to get it himself and does. Harvey off right in. And BB Comer with a twenty two to fifteen lead. Now up by one score. A nice drive by BB Comer. We'll take a timeout and back to Legion Stadium, BB Comer with the lead. 
Shop with confidence at King's Mattress Gallery. Newly stocked signature sectionals and recliners for any size room. Mega motion and signature lift chairs. Sealy hybrid duo chill mattresses for a cool night's sleep. Temper ergo smart bases that respond to snoring automatically. Visit King's Mattress Gallery today. Family owned and operated since 1994. Proudly serving in Silicaga and surrounding areas. TV 47's High School Game of the Week, presented by Sarah Automotive here in Sylacauga. Also, High School Action, presented by Marble City Pharmacy here in Sylacauga. Omnia Community Funeral Home, Charles Woods and Cadero Wood. And your State Farm agent, Albia Steers, on Highway 21 in Sylacauga. High School Football, hope you're enjoying it. Stay tuned for more. There's a lot in life to smile about. Are loose dentures or missing teeth keeping you from enjoying the things you love? Don't miss out on enjoying life's precious moments. You can be you again with affordable mini dental implants. You can smile again, laugh out loud, and have your self-confidence back. Let us help you make it memorable. I'm Dr. Rick Redmond. Call me today for a free consultation and give me the opportunity to change your life. So a nice opening third quarter drive, Zach, by B.B. Comer to retake the lead over Dadeville 22-15. It was. Whatever uh, Coach Fawcett said to them at halftime must have fired them up. Yeah, and uh, Devin Harvey ran the football well on that drive. And, of course, Moore Harris, we knew uh, if he could get untracked, he could do some damage. And uh, as you said, he took three people in the end zone with him on that touchdown run. He is. The Tigers will kick off, leading 22 to 15. Noah Wimmer, who plays linebacker and uh, does the uh, kickoffs and extra points, will kick it away. Line drive. Take it down at the 30-yard line. So Dave will go to work there, first and 10. Cooking down there by uh, number 33. That's uh, that's Jakari Brown, his first tackle of the game, and uh, also number nine, Richard Weed. Let's see if BB Comer's defense can uh, kind of slow down this running attack for Dable. Dable did a great job of blocking on the front and got B.B. Comer in some mismatches. And the Tigers uh, had a look or two that apparently weren't used to, and they will put some points on the board, first and 10. There's a guy who scored a couple of touchdowns. This time, B.B. Comer swarms him down. Good tackle there. That's uh, number 23, Brandez Eason, which is, he is seeming to be carrying Dadeville on his back this game. You know, Chris Wilson, he's just a, a great football player. He's going to get to play at a next level somewhere. And he just gets better and better and better. And B.B. Comer will move him from one side to the other. Second down and long. He's coming after the quarterback, and he's got him down at the 25-yard line. You may have got a face mask in, too. Flag called. It's Chris Wilson. Chased down. And uh, you don't want to see a big guy like that fall on a little guy like that. <laughs> I think they got him out a face mask on Wilson, however, and they did. But uh, quarterback is uh, on the ground. Looks like he got a hurt leg. It's, uh, that's Cameron Hurd. He's played pretty well this game. They have a cramp as well. Let's take a break right here, and we'll come back uh, with more from Legion Stadium. B.B. Comer on top, 22 to uh, 15. Back with more after this. Amya Inc. is a leading global producer of calcium carbonate and a worldwide distributor of specialty chemicals. Amya has an unwavering commitment to quality and total customer satisfaction through leadership in manufacturing technology, product innovation, application expertise, incomparable service, and an exceptional understanding of our customers' needs. 
Omnia takes pride in continuous direct customer communications to understand their changing needs for new product development and logistical support. Omnia Inc. is pleased to have been a part of the Silicaga and surrounding communities since 1992. You look on the field, Coach Adam Fawcett of B.B. Comerzak is out there helping work the cramp out, brought the kids some water out there. That's great sportsmanship. It really is great to see. And both teams have shown that uh, during this game, and that's always good to see. You got to keep those kids hydrated. You got to keep that water in them. And those cramps, uh, man. These kids will feel it as we go along in the night. So here we go with B.B. Comer leading 22 to 15. Dadeville will have the football at their 36 yard line after the face mask penalty against B.B. Comer's Wilson. Wilson made a great play, but he did uh, grab the mask a little bit. Putting it into Javian Burns in at quarterback. He's going to keep it himself. And B.B. Comer got some guys out there and make a nice stop. He looks on the ground, too. Kamori Harris with a big tackle. And oh, my goodness. He just came in the game in one care, and he's down hurt. Helmet came off. Maybe another cramp. And for these uh, coaches and, and uh, medical personnel, they're getting to work out tonight, too. Well, we've got just a minute. Let me. Uh, talk to you about some of the folks that make this game possible. That is Omnia here in Sylacauga. And we're so happy that Omnia has joined us to bring you high school football and uh, National Anthem by Sylacauga Glass, so many others. We will uh, come back and talk more about that in just a minute as we continue from Legion Stadium. $500 over invoice now at Tony Sarah Ford. Every new Ford on the lot, $500 over invoice. When you trade in finance with Tony Sarah Ford, plus 3.9% financing for 72 months. Save thousands on new F-150s and more, all backed by Sarah's lifetime warranty. No charge. Every new Ford, $500 over invoice at Tony Sarah Ford. In Sylacauga, TonySarahFord.com. We're back to Legion Stadium in Sylacauga. Another injured player helped up off the field, and it's another cramp situation. And we've seen a lot of that as we work into the night here, uh, opening night of high school football on TV 47, WOIL television. I can't imagine playing in, in uh, heat and humidity like these kids play in. But they love the game, that's for sure. They worked all fall camp, and it's been so hot the last two months. And uh, hopefully next week it's going to cool down a little bit. Looks like some rain and temperatures in the 80s next week. There's been a lot of injured players this game. <laughs> it looks like, feels like we've been in the nine-minute mark for about 30 minutes. At the 37 yard line. BB Comer, a five man front. A little toss sweep. BB Comer stocking it up, and there's Wilson, got him wrapped up. They blow the whistle, and uh, Wilson was there to get him. BB Comer's defense kind of fired up now. Wilson making a ton of tackles from that defensive end spot. So, Dave will punt the football with fourth down and about six. So, the Tigers should get pretty good field position for their second offensive drive in the second half. Fourth and nine for Dadeville. Good, good punt. strong punt. Taking it into 30 yard line, some running room, pushing the back right there. And, and coming across the 40, down. here comes that flag. I can see that one coming. Gonna be a block in the back against BB Comer, probably. Pretty good return there by Richard Weed, though. Richard Weed returns the punt. 
So you'll mark off 10 yards against the Tigers. And no, he really didn't have to do that, but he was trying to do something good, and oftentimes that'll happen, yeah. especially in opening games of the season. The market is a 29 yard line, first and 10 Tigers. E.B. Comer leading Dave 22 to 15. 908 to go in the third quarter. Let's see Comer stays with that running game. They throw it on first down, caught. And a nice throw and catch with Sims, and Sims is near midfield. Braylon Sims trucking through number one who is uh, Javarius Askew. And as you remember from earlier, he was talking big game. <laughs> Maybe that'll silence him a little bit. Sims with a nice uh, run after the catch out to the 47 yard line. Harvey and Harris in the backfield. Low snap, he loads up and throws the home run ball. It is incomplete. Is intended for Sims, but Sims got kind of tangled up. It falls incomplete. B.B. Comer will travel about eight miles or so to Childersburg up Highway 280 to John Cox Stadium next week for first home game for the Childersburg Tigers. Harvey to Harris. Harris got some running room across midfield. Harris still running. Look at that. 30, 25. Harris pushing his way, bullying his way to the 22-yard line. Kamori Harris. Great run, and he's finally brought down by a load of Dadeville players. And another player's hurt. He looks like he might get up all right, though. So uh, that's number four, Levi Childers. You know, Harris, he just pushes them out of the way. <laughs> He's so strong. Got a timeout on the field now, a heat timeout. B.B. Comer leading at 22-15. We're back after this. High School Football here on TV 47, brought to you by Sarah Automotive on Highway 280 in Sylacauga and by your number one employer in the city of Sylacauga, Coosa Valley Medical Center. In Fayetteville, it is Lori Darling's Restaurant and by the B.B. Calmer Alumni Association. National Anthem presented by Silicaga Glass. Enjoy high school football here on TV 47, W-O-I-L Television. Coosa Valley Medical Center, one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama, is also Silicaga's largest employer. Services from the emergency room, to surgery, to cancer treatment, to post-stroke care. You won't believe what's right in your backyard. It's Coosa Valley Medical Center in Sylacauga. So, if you're sick in Alabama, choose one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama. That is Coosa Valley Medical Center. Datreon Wells been helped off the field. Another cramp, right? Yep, there's been a lot of them this game. So we be calmer deep in Dadeville territory for the first down at the 22 yard line, leading 22 to 15. B.B. Comer had a strong first quarter. Dadeville strong second quarter. B.B. Comer strong third quarter so far. <laughs> Good run by number six, that's Cameron Gaddis. And he's brought down by Number nine, Redrick Green. That's a young man who scored a touchdown earlier in the game. B.B. Comer running the football very well here in the second half. They bring Harris back in now. You got Sims at quarterback now. They give it to Harris. 
Harris breaking a tackle. Boy, that's a dangerous play right there. Good tackle by number 56. That is uh, it's William Johns, one of the captains from earlier, and Personal Levi Childers. Wow. That's going to give B.B. Comer a first down. That'll take it uh, inside the 10-yard line. Got to make it a first and goal. Mark it at the six. So second down at the six-yard line. He becomes brings 22 into the game. And that is, uh, that's Tyler Buckingham. Harris may have moved a little earlier than he did. And that's going to cost him five yards. That's a critical penalty. Wow. False start. That'll back the Tigers up five. And, uh, it's marked at the 11 yard line. Harvey keeps it. Harvey's hit. And pulls his way, pushing his way to the six yard line. Devin Harvey with a strong run. Tackled by uh, a lot of Dable football players. And, um, you know, Zach, it is, it's good sportsmanship. Yeah to see both teams helping each other up off Definitely. the playing surface when they're down. Mm -hmm. Been a very clean played game as far as that goes. Harvey keeps it again. He's headed straight to the end zone. Touchdown, touchdown Comer. He was untouched until he passed the goal line. And he seems to be hurt again. And the quarterback is hurt. Yeah, you better go see about him. He got hurt on that play. And that, uh, the players saw something then because they got him out there in a hurry. And this might be more than a cramp. Let's take a quick timeout and we'll come back and check out the injured player after this. If you've got $29, You've got the down payment for a brand new Nissan. Now at Sarah Nissan, three locations. Every vehicle, just $29 down, plus 0% financing for 60 months, 700 new Nissans, and you get a lifetime warranty, no charge. 0% financing for 60 months. Every vehicle, just $29 down. Now at Sarah Nissan in Birmingham and Sylacauga, plus Tony Sarah Nissan in Coleman. Heritage South Credit Union proudly serves the cities of Sylacauga, Childersburg, Moody, and surrounding counties. Unlike regular banks, Heritage South Credit Union is member-owned. And with over 13,000 members, Heritage South Credit Union is the premier financial institution in the markets they serve. Visit them online at myhscu.com. Heritage South Credit Union, your community credit union for over 80 years. Federally insured by the NCUA. Injured player for B.B. Comer helped to the sideline. We'll try to find out on him in a minute or two as B.B. Comer is going to go for two here. Leading 28 to 15. And the two-point conversion attempt. No it good. pretty good. I don't know if you made it all the way in there or not. I know that was a... Uh... No good. Wow, I thought he got in there. Great job to pull him down there by uh, Camarcus Taylor, kind of suplexing him to the ground. That was Weed. I thought Weed got in, but apparently not. He'd be over 28 days for 15. We're back after this. A funeral service represents a family's final farewell to their loved ones. Knowing this, we go beyond what is expected to ensure the ceremony is beautiful and memorable, a truly fitting tribute to that special life. 
We invite you to visit us to meet our staff and tour our renovated facility complete with a new dining area and catering services. We've been serving the people of this area for over 40 years and we think that you'll be pleased to find that making lasting impressions remains our first priority. Curtis and Son Funeral Home, Sylacauga, Childersburg. I was in a car accident, uh, my front tooth cracked. I'm definitely embarrassed to smile. I got mini dental implants. It changed my life because it made me feel like me. Like I can smile and feel like Ashley. I just wanna say thank you. You can be you again with mini dental implants. I'm Dr. Rick Redman. Call me today for a free consultation and give me the opportunity to change your life. I'm more than happy, I'm ecstatic. B.B. Comer with a missed two-point conversion, but the Tigers lead it 28-15. Uh, to 15. So two touchdowns for the Tigers here in the third quarter, just kind of like it was in the first quarter. 425 left in the third. Big crowd for B.B. Comer here tonight and uh, as well as a nice crowd from Dadeville over. So after the extended uh, timeout, again, the officials have the discretion to do this. The Alabama High School Athletic Association uh, made the announcement this week and gave them the leeway to do what's necessary to keep these players safe and keep them hydrated and uh, give them that extra minute or two to Make sure they're all right in between drives. Wimmer will, be kicking off for the Tigers. Wimmer will kick off. 9.08 to go in the third quarter. Two touchdowns for the Tigers early on in the third quarter. Line drive kick. Taking it to 22, 25, 30, 35, 40 to the 43 yard line. Nice uh, return by the Dable Tigers. Uh, tackled there by Darian Riley. Return by uh, Rimestad. So it'll be a first down for Dadeville at their own 43-yard line. Good starting position for the Tigers here. D.B. Comer's done a good job defensively here uh, in the third quarter. Burns is a quarterback. D.B. Comer stacks them up, maybe got a yard, but that's all. D.B. Comer says they recovered the football, too. I don't yeah, think the official the going along of with it. it, but. Yeah, it looks like it's Dadeville ball, yeah. So second down and 10. B.B. Comer coming off uh, one of their best seasons in the history of the school last year. Got to the championship game in 2A, beaten by perennial power Fife. There's that guy's really hurt B.B. Comer tonight. He's got another first down. He looks shaken up, and the guy who tackled him looks pretty shaken up, too. That's uh, Brandes, uh, Brandes Eason, the ball carrier. And they'll move the chains. And tackled Eason by is down on the field hurt. He got a cramp in his leg. Tackled by Michael Kirksey. So, as we work that cramp out, we'll work a 30-second commercial in. We're back in a minute. Hope you're enjoying high school football, the game of the week here on WOIL TV 47. It's all brought to you by Heritage South Federal Credit Union. Also by Mr. Rick Morris and by Bandits on West Fort Williams in Sylacauga and Earlene's Flowers on the Talladega Highway in Sylacauga, Alabama. High school football on WOIL TV 47. Continue to enjoy the action.
High School Football here on TV 47, WOIL Television, brought to you by Sarah Automotive on Highway 280 in Sylacauga, and presented by State Representative District 33, Ben Robbins, Donahue Physical Therapy on West Fort Williams, and Talladega County Commissioner Cindy Pennington. Hope you're enjoying High School Football here on TV 47, WOIL Television. If you've got $29, you've got the down payment for a brand new Nissan. Now at Sarah Nissan, three locations. Every vehicle, just $29 down, plus 0% financing for 60 months, 700 new Nissans, and you get a lifetime warranty, no charge. 0% financing for 60 months. Every vehicle, just $29 down. Now at Sarah Nissan in Birmingham and Sylacauga, plus Tony Sarah Nissan in Coleman. Shop with confidence at King's Mattress Gallery. Newly stocked signature sectionals and recliners for any size room. Mega motion and signature lift chairs. Sealy hybrid duo chill mattresses for a cool night's sleep. Temper ergo smart bases that respond to snoring automatically. Visit King's Mattress Gallery today. Family owned and operated since 1994. Proudly serving in Silicaga and surrounding areas. While we were away, uh, Dave had two players that were down at the same time, both of them with cramps. So we got that worked out, and Dave uh, has the football at the B.B. Comer 48-yard line. Burns under center. Gang tackling by the B.B. Comer Tigers. They strip the football away, and there goes Harris the other way for a Tiger touchdown. Moore Harris, they just stripped the ball away from the ball carrier and run it the other way. <laughs> he did. Touchdown, Tigers. Wow. Just That's like now that. A, it's now a three touchdown lead for B.B. Colmer. About three minutes to go in the uh, third quarter. That clock is not accurate that you're watching, so we'll try to keep up with it as best we can. So the Tigers increase their lead now to 34 to 15. And Wimmer will, appoint, will attempt the point after here. So three unanswered touchdowns by B.B. Comer, two offensively, one defensively here in the third quarter. Here you go, Noah Wimmer with the kick. Wimmer will attempt the point after. And whistles blow. And what? B.B. Comer didn't have enough players on the field. <laughs> so we've got a different holder in now. Does he know how to do that? B.B. Comer unsure earlier. I'm still not sure Shabby why they pulled hold. him out. Oh, he said, nope, dead gummit. I thought I was, but I'm not. So. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so they bring Harvey in the hole. My goodness. Blow again. <laughs> Penalty flag down. <laughs> oh, wow. So we're, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, they move it back five yards, and there's a couple of B.B. Comer players got cramps, and Harvey had to go out of the game. So they bring Weed in to hold. And we'll try this again with Wimmer. High snap, placed down. Kick is and no good. Line drive, kick, and that thing is through there. Oh, <laughs> wow. Uh, 35 to 15 now. B.B. Calmer with 239 to go in the third quarter. The Tigers stretching out a little bit. We'll be back in a minute.
There's a lot in life to smile about. Are loose dentures or missing teeth keeping you from enjoying the things you love? Don't miss out on enjoying life's precious moments. You can be you again with affordable mini dental implants. You can smile again, laugh out loud, and have your self-confidence back. Let us help you make it memorable. I'm Dr. Rick Redman. Call me today for a free consultation and give me the opportunity to change your life. $500 over invoice. Now at Tony Sarah Ford. Every new Ford on the lot. $500 over invoice. When you trade in finance with Tony Sarah Ford. Plus 3.9% financing for 72 months. Save thousands on new F-150s and more. All backed by Sarah's lifetime warranty. No charge. Every new Ford. $500 over invoice at Tony Sarah Ford. In Sylacauga, TonySarahFord.com. So a defensive touchdown for B.B. Culver. Maury Harris runs a fumble, caught in the air, back into the end zone. Extra point by Wimmer, it's 35-15, B.B. Culver. Tigers will kick off, 2.39 to go in the third quarter. Again, uh, apologize for the, some technical problems with our clock and the scoreboard. And, Kind of like opening night for everybody. Right. Remember to kick off. Short kick. Taking drop and falling on it at the 35 yard line. That's uh, Lane Chaka. Chaka falls on it. And uh, that's where Dave will take over. We'd be home with three unanswered scores in the third quarter. I don't know what. Uh, he may have gave him some serum or something in halftime or something, but whatever happened worked. Yeah, for, it definitely uh, did. Fossett. Got him motivated for sure. <laughs> First down and 10. Dave Lake getting the player onto the playing surface. At the 35 yard line. the 40 to the 42 yard line goes the ball carry that's Jefferson say uh good tackle there trying to see his number but uh didn't seem to turn around Wimmer was one of the ones there I think that's uh number eight Raylan Sims or it's number nine Richard Weed second down pick up a uh, eight yards on that play. Second and two. There's a guy that's hurt B.B. Comer a lot, but this time the Tigers stand him up for no gain. Fumble the football again. And the Tigers fall on it at about the 38-yard line. Spot it forward. Back at the 42, 43 yard line. So third down and a yard and a half. Make it third down, two yards a game. We're getting close to the end of the third quarter. BB Comer with a strong third period. Trail 15 to 14 at halftime. It's 35 15 now, BB Comer. Four-man front. And I don't think he got the first down. I be where they spot it, but I believe he's going to be short. Pushed back by Kamori Harris and uh, other Tigers. Fourth down. Number 17, Datreon Wells included in that bunch. Dave was going to go for it right here, trailing by three scores very late in the third quarter with a foot to go for the first down. Big play coming here. Tigers defensive front kind of playing pretty salty here in the third quarter. Here we go, fourth down and very short. The Tigers digging in. 
he's not going to. Oh, yeah. That second and third effort got him the first down. He has hit in the backfield. It's a good run by number 13 and a good yeah, tackle a by. Run. Yeah. Good tackle by number 52, Chikorian Borden. They've got a couple of players down. And we go to the fourth quarter. BB Calmer 35, Dade from 15. Back to Legion Stadium with the fourth and final quarter in a minute. High School Football here on TV 47, brought to you by Sarah Automotive on Highway 280 in Sylacauga. And by your number one employer in the city of Sylacauga, Coosa Valley Medical Center. In Fayetteville, it is Lori Darling's Restaurant. And by the B.B. Calmer Alumni Association. National Anthem presented by Sylacauga Glass. Enjoy High School Football here on TV 47, WOIL Television. Coosa Valley Medical Center, one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama, is also Sylacauga's largest employer. Services from the emergency room, to surgery, to cancer treatment, to post-stroke care. You won't believe what's right in your backyard. It's Coosa Valley Medical Center in Sylacauga. So, if you're sick, in Alabama, choose one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama. That is Coosa Valley Medical Center. High School Football here on TV 47, brought to you by Sarah Automotive on Highway 280 in Sylacauga. And by your number one employer in the city of Sylacauga, Coosa Valley Medical Center. In Fayetteville, it is Lori Darling's Restaurant. And by the B.B. Calmer Alumni Association. National Anthem presented by Sylacauga Glass. Enjoy High School Football here on TV 47, WOIL Television. Well, I didn't know what it is. Fourth quarter. B.B. Calmer leading by three scores. David with the first down. Hard running. Another nice run. It's the same back that picked up the first down a minute ago. Nice run and a nice tackle by Chris Wilson. is uh, Carter Boswell. Pick up a five, second down and five. We're just inside the fourth quarter with B.B. Comer leading 35 to 15. Dable trying to put together a march here. Rolling right is Hurd and Hurd is Bulling his way to about the 41 yard line. He's got a first down. Nice run by the little quarterback. Richard Weed there to bring him down. Nice run by number two, though. So, Cameron Hurd, he's a junior. He's done a good job for the Bulldog, uh, for the uh, Dable Tigers tonight. At the B.B. Comer, 41, first and 10. Heard running room for Green, and Green's all the way inside the 20-yard line to the 18. It'll be another first down for the Dadeville Tigers. Great run there, and Dearian Riley and Richard Wee there to bring him down. We have another player on the ground for Comer. So uh, number 77, Ian Denty. It's going to be another timeout as uh, I think <laughs> these medical folks are uh, getting a workout tonight. Definitely. Well, we've got just a minute. Let me uh, again thank all of our sponsors. Tell you what, we'll do that after the break. 10:21 to go in the game. BB Comer 35, Dadeville 15. Five hundred dollars over invoice now at Tony Sarah Ford. 
every new Ford on the lot. $500 over invoice when you trade and finance with Tony Sarah Ford. Plus 3.9% financing for 72 months. Save thousands on new F-150s and more. All backed by Sarah's lifetime warranty. No charge. Every new Ford. $500 over invoice at Tony Sarah Ford. In Silicaga, TonySarahFord.com. High School Football here on TV 47, brought to you by Sarah Automotive on Highway 280 in Sylacauga. And by your number one employer in the city of Sylacauga, Coosa Valley Medical Center. In Fayetteville, it is Lori Darling's Restaurant. And by the B.B. Calmer Alumni Association. National Anthem presented by Sylacauga Glass. Enjoy High School Football here on TV 47, W.O.I.L. Television. That was uh, Ian Denty, hard-working lineman, being uh, helped off the field, caught a cramp, and uh, we're back. David with a first down at the B.B. Calmer 18-yard line, trading 35 to 15. Early in the fourth quarter, 10-12 to go. We'll toss sweep. Oh my this goodness. This time a lick was passed. Wow. To Maury Harris. Harry said, I've had enough of this 13. And I don't blame him. He's been eating up at uh, mm -hmm. Colmer. Harris with a tremendous tackle. You know, there's been a lot of conversation where he would play defense or offense in college. And he is a, said as a linebacker. I don't know if he's too small as a linebacker in college or not, but uh, he'll put a bonnet on you for sure. Second down and 10 from the 18. Heard in the center. Trying to get outside and does. And it's a foot race, touchdown. Nice run. I tell you, Dave will don't give up, do they? That's a they nice touchdown not. run by Jefferson, the freshman. And he puts another touchdown on the board for Dadeville. Don't count them out yet. Two touchdown game. Looking to 35 more than to 21. Likely, looking to more than likely go for two here. Looks that way. Nope, they're going to go for the extra point, looks like now. Mm. Philip Baker to kick it. Good snap, place down, kick up. And the kick is no good. So, 35-21, B.B. Calmer with 9.09 .09 to go in the football game. We'll come back to Legion Stadium as we draw closer to the end. The Tigers by two scores back in a minute. Coosa Valley Medical Center, one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama, is also Sylacauga's largest employer. Services from the emergency room, to surgery, to cancer treatment, to post-stroke care. You won't believe what's right in your backyard. It's Coosa Valley Medical Center in Sylacauga. So, if you're sick, in Alabama, choose one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama. That is Coosa Valley Medical Center. Heritage South Credit Union proudly serves the cities of Sylacauga, Childersburg, Moody, and surrounding counties. Unlike regular banks, Heritage South Credit Union is member-owned. And with over 13,000 members, Heritage South Credit Union is the premier financial institution in the markets they serve. Visit them online at myhscu.com. Heritage South Credit Union, your community credit union for over 80 years. Federally insured by the NCUA. A funeral service represents a family's final farewell to their loved ones. Knowing this, we go beyond what is expected to ensure the ceremony is beautiful and memorable, a truly fitting tribute to that special life. We invite you to visit us to meet our staff and tour our renovated facility complete with a new dining area and catering services. We've been serving the people of this area for over 40 years and we think that you'll be pleased to find that making lasting impressions remains our first priority. Curtis and Son Funeral Home, Sylacauga, Childersburg. 
B.B. Comer leads it 35 to 21 with 9.09 to go uh, in the football game. Taken at the 20 yard line. Stumbling and falling at the 29. It'll be first down, BB Comer. Oh, it was Richard Weed on the return. So the Tigers will try to put some first downs together and get some of this clock down, leading by two touchdowns. 8.59 to go into game. got uh, another timeout. So we'll go back to the well and take one as ourselves. 35-21, B.B. Colmer. I was in a car accident. Uh, my front tooth cracked. I'm definitely embarrassed to smile. I got mini dental implants. It changed my life because it made me feel like me. Like I can smile and feel like Ashley. I just want to say thank you. You can be you again with many dental implants. I'm Dr. Rick Redmond. Call me today for a free consultation and give me the opportunity to change your life. I'm more than happy. I'm ecstatic. If you've got $29, you've got the down payment for a brand new Nissan. Now at Sarah Nissan, three locations. Every vehicle, just $29 down, plus 0% financing for 60 months, 700 new Nissans, and you get a lifetime warranty, no charge. 0% financing for 60 months. Every vehicle, just $29 down. Now at Sarah Nissan in Birmingham and Sylacauga, plus Tony Sarah Nissan in Coleman. Now at Tony Sarah Ford, every new Ford on the lot, $500 over invoice. When you trade in finance, Took that last one. 35-21. B.B. Calmer with a two-touchdown lead in the fourth quarter. Quarterback Keek. And he's done some damage in the second half. It's a nice run by Devin Harvey. So B.B. Calmer first down. Forced to slide down by Levi Childers, who's there. You know, you have to applaud these players from both these teams. Uh, as hot as it's been, they're still going at it late in the fourth quarter. And we've had a lot of timeouts, yeah, but you know, you've got all these cramps going on. You gotta, you gotta keep these kids safe. And that's what the officials have done. Nothing My happened. goodness, met behind the line and stuffed to the ground. That's Camarcus Taylor, number 34. Gannis got pounded then, for sure. B.B. Comer may have jumped in, and they did. Cost him five yards. Quarterback clapped his hands, and one of the Tigers' outside receivers jumped. And that'll push it back five yards. 7.23 to go in the game. When we talk about the timeouts, uh, the Alabama High School Athletic Association has given much leeway to the officials with the heat as extreme as it is and as it has been today and yesterday as well. In fact, the last two months. So they want to protect these players as much as possible. It's a good nice run. run there. It's uh, Cameron Gaddis. You know, Gaddis scored a touchdown for the Tigers early on and he got close to a first down. He's been a big help to the uh, Tiger lead. 
forgot about the penalty, so it's uh, third down and nine, basically. Clock running in there. Mimi Comer is wanting to run some of that clock now. Third down and nine. First man through, and he's got some room, and there he goes again. That's Gaddis. Look at him go. Gaddis all the way inside the 20 to the 15 yard line. Ooh. Great back is running well. Great run and finally brought down by Tory Rimstad, but a fantastic run there by Richard Wheat. No, excuse me. Uh, that's uh, Cameron Gaddis, sorry. So Gaddis uh, getting some playing time. And he's showing that uh, he could be an influence on the game. At the 15 yard line, first and 10, B.G. Colmer. Go back to Gaddis again, same play, and this time he's pushed out of bounds. Good pick up. Clock running, 5.15 to go, and they stop it now. We appreciate all of our sponsors from high school football. We couldn't do it without them. Earlene's Flowers, uh, appreciate Don and the staff there. And they've been a lot of first downs tonight. We haven't gotten every one of them with Don's name on it, but I'm telling you, Earlene's Flowers, for all your floral needs right there on the Talladega Highway in Chillicock. Been here forever. And uh, Don uh, Conville owns the company. Got a great group of ladies working with him. That's uh, Earlene's Flowers on the Talladega Highway. Whistles blow, and uh, the ball was snapped. B.B. Comer called a timeout. <laughs> oh, well, first game for sure. Let me uh, mention a couple of our sponsors again. That's Bandits. You know, uh, they redid that store, the restaurant right there uh, on West Fort Williams. They have bands in there and great uh, barbecues. As a matter of fact, uh, they uh, have fed the football crew here tonight uh, at WOTM and WOIL. We've got three games going on from the building tonight. Three different games from three different uh, cities and uh, it's some hungry folks. So Bandits is taking care of that. Great barbecue. Don't forget that for your football Saturdays and football Fridays. It's Bandits here in Silicon. Great steaks, uh, seafood, and uh, great entertainment, music. Oh yeah, that's Bandits on West Fort Williams in Sylacauga. Omnia, uh, one of our great quarries here in town. And uh, State Farm agent Albia Steers. Albia has been a insurance agent for a long time. And uh, he just looks young, but he's been in it a long time. Right there on the Talladega Highway, automobile insurance, Home insurance, boat insurance, motorcycle insurance. State Farm agent Albia Steers. Here's Harvey keep it. He's going to pull it down and run. Harvey slides down to the 10-yard line. Uh, nice move by Harvey and it keeps that clock running too. Get a nice gain, get about to the 10-yard line. 440 left to go. B.B. Calmer leads it 35-21. Four and a half to go in regulation. You know, we haven't seen Kamor Harris in a while. Gaddis has been, and you know, Gaddis and Harris, two different statue of players for sure. There goes Gaddis. He can't get through the hole, and he's tackled at the line of scrimmage. And the penalty is assessed against B.B. Calmer. For motion penalty. You see a lot of things happen with your first game mistakes. Got some penalties. Few turnovers, a lot of uh, 
players coming up. Cramps. We've had that more than anything tonight. I don't think any serious injuries so far. Hopefully we can get through the rest of this game without any. Clock running under four minutes now. Harvey taking a long time before he takes a snap. He's going to keep it. Harvey slides down at the nine-yard line. Slides down, but uh, to make sure that he did, what there was a uh, Corday Jefferson. 3.30 to go in the football game. B.B. Comer may have to call a timeout. They may just run, run that clock down, and they may take a timeout. 3.12 to go in regulation. B.B. Comer up two scores. It's fourth down and nine. I thought they might try to kick a field goal here, but I guess they might think it could get blocked, and so they're not. Here's Harvey looking to throw it. Squaring his shoulders, fires, and it's incomplete. So Dadeville will take over on downs. Dadeville ball. pass intended for Wells. Personal foul, roughing the passer against Dadeville. Good off night. Hand. You're talking about a crushing blow. That is one. They were going to get the football back, but not now. So much for not a lot of flags. That should give the Tigers a first down. I think that's how it's going to be. Coach from Dadeville's not real happy of it. They're going to get it back with uh, a little under three minutes to go with a chance to uh, go down the field and put some points on the board. but. Discussing it, you're not real happy with it. So, we'll see how things uh, shake out here. And he I think he wants to talk to the head referee, I think. Maybe not. So, Man in a white hat's gonna make the call. Personal foul. Roughly the passer. And BB Calmer, well, it's a double penalty. <laughs> wow. Yeah, <about> <laughs> wow. Uh, quarterback is over the line of scrimmage when he released the football. There's a personal foul on roughly the quarterback. And I guess we're gonna do fourth down all over again. Kind of weird opening night. So we'll do fourth down again. Two fifty to go. PB Comer Alumni Association, part of Tiger football tonight as well. Colleague County Revenue Commissioner Cindy Pennington. I appreciate Cindy. She is uh a great states person, and she works hard, loves her county. Uh, that revenue office is running uh, smoother than ever before under her leadership. Now, we'll try it again. Fourth down. Seems like we've uh, been on fourth down for the last 15 minutes. Harvey, we're going to give it, and uh, dancing, he fumbles a football, falling on it. Garrett at about the seven yard line, it'll go over to Dable, first and 10. Looks like Dable does have it, yep. and that's number 22. That is Ty Moon. So Dable will take over with 2.40 to go in the football game, trailing 35. To 21. 
Two touchdown lead for B.B. Comer. We near 10 o'clock on a Friday night. Pretty long game tonight with the timeouts that we've had. 79 degrees in downtown Sylacauga now. So here's Dave with uh, less than three minutes to go in the game. Oh, oh my goodness, goodness. Harris Kamori again. Harris <laughs> lights him up. Wow. We call her got a player down. We had our instant replay going tonight. We could replay that a couple of times, but he just annihilated the ball carrier. Good night. So we got a timeout here, and uh, we'll take the final one or two as well as we'll head back to the station for a break. Back in a minute. Coosa Valley Medical Center, one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama, is also Sylacauga's largest employer. Services from the emergency room, to surgery, to cancer treatment, to post-stroke care. You won't believe what's right in your backyard. It's Coosa Valley Medical Center in Sylacauga. So, if you're sick, in Alabama, choose one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama. That is Coosa Valley Medical Center. Richard Weed, the injured player. B.B. Comer, he's coming out under his own power. Coach Foss has walked a few miles on the football field tonight. Coach Foss had, had some uh, off-season surgery on, I think it was an ankle, something like that, Achilles or something. He wasn't the game time decision. He's ready to go tonight, though. So, B.B. Calmer with 2.25 to go with a two touchdown lead. You would think they'd be in pretty good shape here, but you never know. Here comes Dadeville from their own 12 yard line. Run the football right up the middle. That's all right with B.B. Calmer. Brought down there by Noah Wimmer and uh, Chris Wilson. Wilson's made a lot of stops tonight. He has. Been a vital part to this Comer victory. Looks like Dave was kind of content to just to run some plays and get on out of here too. We're under a minute and a, half, a minute and 50 to go. They're two touchdowns behind, and they ran the first play up the middle. They're at the 17-yard line now. With a long way to go and a short time to get there. Pitch. Mark Harris. Gosh. Kamori Harris is on another level right now. That was 23, hitting 23, and it was no contest. How do you like to be running against him, Zach? I'm okay. <laughs> Think you'll pass on it? Yeah. <laughs> We're under a minute now to go. Moore Harris has made about five tackles tonight, and four out of the five has been loud tackles. Like loud, violent. Very violent. Good job to stay up. Yep. He might be and gone. He's got a couple of steps, too. They bump him out of bounds at about the 45-yard uh, line. Great run there by number 26. That's Jefferson. Jefferson scored a couple of touchdowns for uh, Dable tonight. 
27 seconds to go, and Dable's at their own 43-yard line. Trailing 35 to 21. B.B. Comer with three touchdowns in the third quarter. Harris is coming out of the game. Movement on that right side, I think a penalty flag. Delay a game against Dayton. Twenty-two, Tylen Buckingham coming in. Fifty-five coming in for BB. Fifty-five. That's Ethan Price. Also have Jacory and Borden out there. Now he's coming back. Twenty-seven seconds to go. Don't let him out. There he goes. I'm telling you, this guy can get it. That's Jefferson again. Dadeville looking to show that uh, they're not uh, too easy to beat. Wilson trying to run him down, but that was no contest. You think Dadeville is trying to maybe score one more touchdown? Looks like it. They're not throwing the football. They're running it. He's coming out of the game, and uh, they're Jefferson putting up 23 the in. Game. He's just a freshman, too, by the way. He scored a couple of touchdowns tonight for the Tigers. We're at 18 seconds to go in the game. Sarah Automotive High School Game of the Week, fourth quarter, brought to you by Omnia. They're going to run it again. And, uh, oh, my. Good lick and a good tackle by Darian Riley. 11 seconds to go with that play out of bounds and ball carrier down, that is Eason. Eason got tangled up in the chains, looks like, over there. I want to thank all our sponsors. We're going to head out of here as soon as the clock ticks to triple zero. And uh, we appreciate all of you joining us tonight. B.B. Comer with a 35-21 lead. And uh, we're going to wrap this one up. Thanks to Sarah Automotive uh, for being our corporate sponsor again. All of our uh, game sponsors, uh, we thank you for being a part of the contest as well. Uh, State Representative District 33, Ben Robbins, Donahue Physical Therapy, Heritage South Federal Credit Union, Marble City Pharmacy, Community Funeral Home, Coosa Valley uh, Medical Center, Talladega County Revenue Commissioner Cindy Pennington, Omnia, State Farm Agent Albia Steers, and uh, BB Calmer Alumni Association, and Bandits as well, and Earlene's Flowers here in Sylacaug, another one of our wonderful sponsors. We tick down to 11 seconds. This might be the final play of the game. We're going to try to get this off, surely. They're still attending to the young man on the sideline, but they've got the chains untangled now. I think we're going to wait just another minute, maybe. But this has been a, a, a first Friday night contest. And there's the young man who tangled up over there. He looks like he's going to be OK. So we should be able to go now. Under center is Cameron Hurd, the junior. At about the 15 yard line. Power eye right. Hand it off inside and running inside the 10 yard line before he's taken down. And first down for Dadeville with four seconds to go in the game. Four seconds to go. 35-21, B.B. Comer. Here we go. Dave will knock it on the door, trying to get one more touchdown. And they drop the football, and that's going to wrap it up. B.B. Comer is going to win this one, beating Dave 
to 21. E.B. Caldwell with three third quarter touchdowns after uh, a uh, kind of a tough second quarter. They've take the, took, taken the lead 14 to nothing first quarter. Dave will come back to take the lead at halftime. 15 to 14, but B.B. Palmer came out strong in the third quarter to win it, 35 to 21. Zach, thank you for helping tonight, buddy. Yep. Sarah Automotive, High School Game of the Week. I'm Jim Dale. Have a great weekend. God bless you. God bless America. Stay safe, everyone.